Hey, what's up guys? Hello everyone! Welcome to another weekly Wednesday livestream. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. You were expecting Eric. Ha! Gotcha! No, just kidding. Uh, Eric wasn't feeling too well today, unfortunately, so he went home. Eric, if you're watching, we hope you feel better soon. Yes. Uh, so get well soon, get some rest. And uh, I'll try to take it from here. Sorry for all you guys. You're stuck here with me instead of yeah. Eric today. I'm sure you guys don't mind, huh? Because you've also got Jachi. Yeah. I mean, look at know. the magnificent beard. Exactly. What? 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 Your beard? <laughs> no, your beard. Ah, right. Yeah, right. That's why they won't mind. All right. So, um, yeah. What's today's stream about? CES. So, um, yeah. If you're into the tech news, pretty much, you probably will have seen these three letters around the internet a lot, because there's no going around it. CES is one of the biggest events in tech, uh, consumer tech specifically of the year, uh, pretty much together with uh, events like Computex, you know, so it's, yeah. it's, and these are always, you know, around the same time. So CES is always at the beginning of the calendar year. So in uh, January, just after, uh, after New Year's and Computex is like somewhere in the summer. So it's uh, kind of like, uh, you know, half year, like in between. Exactly. So you'll have a little bit of, uh, you know, rest, change. yeah, rest in between. So you can, you can get your mind blown, you know, at one period of time, then you can take a rest, repair yourself and then poof, again. Exactly. Yeah. Get your mind blown all over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, uh, what's CES about? I mean, uh, you know, CES is, uh, again, one of the biggest uh, trade shows for consumer electronics. Um, what you'll see there typically is uh, most, uh, brands like MSI will have a booth there and showing new brand new products there, you know, we'll be working around the clock for a few months. Uh, uh, just so that at this event, uh, we can show new products and uh, blow your minds, of course. Hopefully. So uh, a little bit more about CES again. Um, CES is in Las Vegas. And Las Vegas <clears throat> is in the US, of course. Um, the West Coast. So, uh, as you know, probably around this time, they'll be you know, waking up. Yeah, so but usually they're saying, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? But yeah, not, this time, huh? not, not at CES not time, time, though, you know, because there's too much cameras and press and, you know, that's, uh, no. <laughs> so, um, so Las Vegas, um, usually these type of events uh, and, and most of the stuff goes down at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Uh, however, um, actually, even though this convention center is quite large, it's not big enough to house all the stuff and all the people and all the companies that are flocking to uh, Las Vegas, to CES, to house all of it. So what most uh, vendors will do and most brands, and what we also did is to hire a well, quite huge fancy room in one of the great fancy hotels there. Yeah. In our case, it's the Venetian. Um, yeah, really awesome. And I can also show you uh, a little bit uh, of some, some pictures of what this room will look like. So here you see some impressions, you know, it's like in the background, you can see, you know, uh, the, what the room would normally look like, but there's all kinds of uh, really cool stuff going on and, and some, you know, some displays built up. It's, it's pretty much like you would see in a normal uh, yeah, trade show yeah. there. Like the a red, the red carpet really fits well in the theme. I, I have no idea it why, does. but it does. It just it does. does. Yeah, it just <laughs> works. Hashtag it just worked, guys. Um, <laughs> all right, so this is pretty much what it looks like, and as you can see, also there's like there's a, a huge number of products there that we've uh, put out. There's a lot of our colleagues uh, going around there. Yeah. We're not actually there at the moment. Uh, we're just still in our studio in the Netherlands. Actually, have, have you ever been to CES yourself? Unfortunately, no. I mean, I'd love to, because I'd love to see also Las Vegas and the blinking lights and, and the casinos and stuff. And it's it's supposed to be absurd what's going on there. Um, and everything looks really cool as well. Um, but then again, you know, trade shows, if, if you're if you're at one event or the other yeah. event, eventually you probably won't, if, you, if we are working there, for example, we probably wouldn't see much of the outside because you're like around the clock just, yeah, just talking to everybody and arranging stuff and making sure everybody gets the right information mm -hmm. exactly. uh, and just repeating the same story over and over again about your products to uh, uh, one media and then Linus comes and then pulls <laughs> hardware and you know, yeah. all of those guys. Um, yeah. So... Actually, I, th I think we have uh, Bitwit on picture. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we could very well. I've, I've seen, I've seen <laughs> a I've seen lot it. of people I know on pictures, and yeah. you know, it's. But fun, anyway, fun, fun, a lot of people. 
yeah 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 so um but as you can see there yeah so it's it's as you can imagine the whole day uh, it's it's just a, a big mess of, of people with cameras and all kinds of equipment just going around and trying to make their own mm -hmm. movie and and, and and take pictures and you know so they can write their exactly. articles about hey can what's you, can new can you tell me something about this product yeah, exactly. So you're just standing there minding your own business and then suddenly they come up with a camera <laughs> yeah. and come running up with a and microphone I think like, what can you tell us about this yeah, product? Because <laughs> nowadays, you know, there are a lot of, of those influencers, you know, the bloggers, vloggers, you know, yeah. so they're just running around, you know, just... Yeah, yeah they're, so they're really ambushing you guys, you know, yeah. you know, the biggest, bigger media, you can, you can see them, they can't really, you know, rush up on you because they've got like huge cameras and lights and stuff and... <clears throat> Uh, but the smaller guys, indeed, they just, you know, they, they come up with, yeah, run it with like their with phone and say, hey, 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 I got this guy from MSI here. Um, what can you tell me? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Who are you and what do you do? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, anyway, uh, as you can imagine, it's quite hectic. Um, but, you know, it's fun every now and again. Um, all right. So uh, we also had, uh, it was it two days ago, our uh, press conference. Yeah, two days ago. So as you can see, that looks like this. Um, everybody is nicely seated, and uh, there's a couple of yeah. guys on stage uh, doing the presentation. Yeah, actually, on this on this picture, I think it's quite a well zoomed in lens because yeah. the, the room is a lot bigger than to, this. To 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 your right side, you know, uh, uh, that that side, you know, there. You will see, if if we would zoom out a bit more, you know, the whole room is pretty much filled mm -hmm. because. Um, these press events as well, usually they are um, planned not at the same time, so that it gives media the time to visit one press event and then go to the next. And so, you know, that gives them the opportunity to all go to one uh, press event and then, you know, they'll they'll have all the news from one side, then they'll go to the other. So, yeah, but it's really cool that to have everybody's attention and, uh, yeah, kind of nerve wracking as well. If you have to yep. be the one to give that presentation, you know, there's, there's eyes so much pressure. You so much pressure exactly you know, if you slip up so that's why mad respect to uh, to the guys on stage there well done um and a lady and a, yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah, the guy i mean it's a general term guys yep colleagues um all right so let's uh, let's have a look at some of the products shall we uh, i don't know if you guys uh, in the chat uh, we're monitoring the chat so if you got any questions about the products let us know we don't have all the details because some of the products were so secret and so uh, uh, yeah. um, uh let's say so engineering status still there are products there that really haven't been shown to pretty yeah, much like anybody really at the r d stage yeah so uh even we uh <laughs> don't have all the information time, so we'll try our best yeah. to yeah. inform we, you guys we have a lot of information but not all um so uh <laughs> i also see, already see some people saying i want that msi chair <laughs> nice um well you know who knows maybe <clears throat> maybe it'll be available sometime later this year i have no idea um you see a G-Sync monitor. Oh, hell yeah. It's right here, baby. The G-Sync. The big G-Sync. However, if you watch the news from CES, there was already really one big, uh, very exciting thing as well that NVIDIA said. Exactly. It's not part of our presentation, but I think it's worth noticing <clears throat> because the monitor you see on that side, which is also quite a really nice uh, piece of kit, <laughs> that bad boy uh, supports FreeSync. And if you've been watching the news, very soon Nvidia is going to be <coughs> bringing out a patch that actually uh, also support makes its cards support FreeSync monitors. That's so really smart. I mean, they've been very, very strict on it, right? Because they tested like 400 monitors and only 12 models passed. Yeah, but I mean, you can still enable it yeah. on monitors that even don't uh, <coughs> pass yeah, their so test. Those kind so. of uh, monitors will get a like a sticker like saying nvidia g-sync compatible yeah yeah that i think that's the official uh, thing right like yeah, nvidia g-sync compatible. compatible yeah yeah but um yeah i mean that's really exciting that's a big big win for uh, for the gamers out there you know because let's be honest Choice. most most of the monitors out there up until now and and our monitors as well uh we support FreeSync already for for a long time on our monitors g-sync this is actually the first model that we have with g-sync and you know G-Sync is not for everybody because, you know, it's, it's a bit of a price premium. Um, it's a very nice experience, but not everybody can spare the, the extra cash to, to get it. So right now, if you have an NVIDIA card, um, and in I believe it's from the 15th of January, so it's actually like next week, um, NVIDIA is going to bring out a patch. And that means that if you have an existing um, card, uh, NVIDIA card, your FreeSync monitor will also be able to, uh, you know, you'll also be able to get your, uh, what is it, officially... A variable uh, uh, response rate or something, you know, it's the the the, the freeze the freezing basically. 
So that's really cool. Variable uh, synchronous synchronizing. <coughs> can you can you scroll down the the chat uh, on uh, Restream by the way because it's, uh, it's it's being a little bit delayed. There we go. Um, Adaptive sync. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. That part. <laughs> All right, so um, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the first uh, products, shall we? So um, we're starting out with, um, I believe, something called Ambient Link Demo. Yeah, <clears throat> it's a very nice uh, little piece of demonstration of showing our new full in-house tag hmm. that's going to uh, connect, uh, for example, if you are familiar with Nanoleaf. Uh, so those are like those light really fancy LED panels, things. Yeah. you know, you can put on your wall to yeah. make some yeah. patterns. You can see them already in the background, by mm -hmm. the way, uh, here on, on, on the right side uh, in the in the current uh, picture. There's like this inverted um, sign that looks like a G <laughs> in, in yep. the wall. That Those are nano On the, on the black part. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we also have uh, Philips Hue within our uh, Ambient Link incorporated in our, uh, well, actually, let's just show the video because it's all about syncing and making gaming more immersive <coughs> with lighting around you. So uh, it's really yeah. awesome. And we asked one of our colleagues who is at that uh, at CES to uh, also do the talking to, to give you a little bit of a demonstration. So this is really it might be a bit of Yeah, it might be a bit of background noise. So. Forgive us, but uh, you know, let's uh, let's see what he has to say. How's it going, everyone? Michael here from MSI, and I'm here to talk to you about our new flagship laptop, okay. the GS75. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with the GS65. This is the 17-inch uh, okay. top variant, um, but don't think of it as just a bigger size this one has its own uh, unique features as well so you got so let us know if the sound is okay guys webcam on top thin bezels all around 144 hertz panel on this thing uh you get your per key per key rgb uh keyboard and the touch so first you know he's uh, just giving a little bit of demonstration about the notebook and uh, game sense as you can see there so all the colors and now like we explained before you can see on the background there's the, this G so you can really customize that pattern yourself like however you want it and you can also see the Philips Hue goes there that's also connected to the sync with the ending link so they can really well actually he's just explaining it so you can see it. I, 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 exactly. I don't know if they can hear you guys because so right now Josh is playing Assassin's Creed and it just sounds seems okay. It'll copy right. what's going on in this screen right here. So he's kind of walking through the forest. You kind of see the panels shifting colors, matching what's on the screen. Uh, so I think this, this is motion, really like an kind of expansion and the uh, next step of game, game sense. Because like we're really branching down, out. You'll see it'll start yeah, I mean, or or system. Really cool something closer to... Okay, so the, the movie is stopped now. Uh, yeah. Just to be clear, guys, you know the sound is just being sub, uh, uh, you know admitted to you guys. Um, we uh, we d we actually don't hear it here. Um, but anyway, so this was a demonstration about uh, how the ecosystem of indeed you know something we already have within uh, well game sense basically is that the, these lights and the system will get information from the game. And basically try to uh, yeah connect to these lights and make them uh, respond to what's happening in the game. Kind of like Philips Hue as well, or sorry, Hue uh, Ambilight. You know, there's a Philips used to have this, or maybe they still have this technology behind the screen. Yeah, where, the Ambilights. Yeah, exactly. Where you know behind the screen, the, the the LEDs would give the same color as what's happening on uh, in the movie. Yeah. So yeah, I mean it's quite cool. And again, you know, it adds to the immersion. It adds to the atmosphere. It just brings it, you know, it just makes it bigger, and it brings it uh, outside of the PC itself. So yeah, that's really cool. And I mean those Nano Leaf, I really like them as well. They're I really love expensive to have too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps, perhaps once we have budget, we can have some in here too. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Well, but that's why I think it's cool that, uh, for example, Philips Hue. Uh, products are also support or going to be supported. I don't know if it's uh, available right now, but it's going to be soon. Um, so yeah, you know that's a little bit more accessible for for more people. I think you yeah. know. Uh, I know a lot of people who have Philips Hue products. Huge, yeah, the huge platform. Yeah, of people. Yeah. So that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's one of the things that was uh, new at CS that we're going to be interacting a bit more with games, building yeah. an ecosystem around it. Let us know uh, how you like it. Yeah, and if you have any questions about it. Um, we can't guarantee that we can answer all of your questions about it, but you know, we can try. Um, all right, so maybe we can go on to the next topic already. All right, let's go. So the next topic is about gaming cases. 
And I think we have to uh, bring out a bad boy for this, right? For the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe you want to do that. You know, you can you can uh, show us your. Uh, I mean, it almost, workout. almost broke my back last time. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe lift it from the bottom. There you go. Oh, careful. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> right. There we go. Wow. Whew. Okay, so yeah, maybe you can put it in the main view first, and then uh, yeah, see a bit. Better. So guys, I know what you guys might be thinking because this is not a full desktop because it's a case. Yeah. Voila, let there be lights. Ooh. So you can see there's a very nice tempered glass on this side. So this is actually, can you pronounce the name? Mm. Let me try it. <laughs> it's the Gungnir. Gungnir. Yes, Gungnir. Gungnir. So this comes from uh, Norse mythology, I believe, the name. But the case itself, I mean, it looks really nice. It looks really slick. If you, if you turn it maybe a little bit this way. Here we go. So the, the front, as you can see, yeah. is really uh, just very, yeah. Very clean design. Very clean. Yeah, there's some RGB elements, as you can see here, you know, on the, the front panel and below as well. Very this, subtle. Yeah, this is also, uh, and on the sides is also where it uh, sucks the, the air in, basically. There's, uh, I believe, two or three fans uh, at the front. Yeah, three fans. Uh, three fans. Max. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, yeah, I mean, the case itself just looks really, really good. Uh, this is a, um, I believe they call it a mid-tower. Right, so this is uh, this yeah, is this not is like tower, yeah. this one's not not huge. It's like the the well, mm. let's say the the regular size yeah, that you get. Yeah, full tower size. Yeah, and I think later we can actually show them one full tower size. Well, yeah, we'll maybe maybe. Um, so yeah, some of the features of this case, uh, and this this just got introduced by the way. I don't know about availability, but it should be uh, should be quite soon. Um, so a few features about this case uh, are of course uh, so the front you have a really nice uh, with the RGB is already built in you yeah. can actually uh, take this panel out basically and replace it you can 3d print something else if you want um, so you can actually replace this uh, triangle at the front yeah. here and I think it's also very nice that they have incorporated well LED control yeah so you can yeah. just push the button here instead of going to your yeah. hardware, software so, part so basically you can just push by pushing a button uh, maybe I can show you guys by rotating this a little yeah. bit you know whenever I see this kind of effects I'll just think of you know Knight Rider it's just yeah exactly power, 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 power. so there's there are a few uh, connectors here of course yeah. it's the power button uh, <laughs> there's some LEDs show them even better here yeah right? you'd have to yeah there you go all right so as you can, can see uh, power button uh, status LEDs, uh, USB 3.0, uh, audio, uh, of course, uh, I believe microphone and headset, another USB 3.0, and here's the magic button. So as you can see, when I press this, it'll change color. There's like Ooh. there's like a million different effects. So I can just, you know, we, we could spend another hour or something cycling through them. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you can, you can pretty much see, right? It's full RGB. So that's, uh, you, you get the point. Um, and the nice thing is, it'll also sync up with uh, the inside of the case. So, yeah, that's uh, yeah. <clears throat> that's really nice as well. So, as you can see, at the inside of the case, it's uh, now cycling, uh, color cycle. And as you can see, at least anything but green. <laughs> you should be able to see quite well uh, that the, the fan at the back as well here, right there. And uh, at the front, the front panel and below here. It'll synchronize the, the colors with the motherboard and all the other components you've got in there. So that's really cool. Um, what else can we can we tell them about this case? Um, well, I think uh, maybe we can uh, show them a bit more of the inside. Well, we yeah. Do we need to take the panel off then, or do you think we can oh, do it I like this? I think we're gonna do that next time because I think that's yeah. gonna take a lot of time. So because we, we've got more products to cover, guys. So, exactly. but if you this let us know if you'd like to know schedule. more about this. Uh, there's going to be some streams, of course, uh, that we cover more of these products. Maybe even uh, a full build. I don't know. Uh, maybe one of us will, will actually, actually do a build. I think if you guys are very interested, you should, you should tune in definitely in, uh, I think, two weeks' time. Mike will be uh, doing a full build. Ooh, there yeah. we go. You're already having a sneak peek here. Uh, this is also something that Mike built for you guys to show today. Yep, yep. You know, And later he's going to go into depth uh, in the full live stream yep. about a full build. And show so, you how and give you some exactly. tips if you've never built one before. Because actually these cases, these cases make it quite easy. There's so much space in here. Uh, also for, yep. for bigger and longer cards. Uh, so 
you know everything's because yeah. uh, obviously well this case is, it has uh, uh, it also has a very nice cable management on the back, but it just takes yeah. too much time to take everything you know apart apart and, and yeah. uh, show you guys. But in a few weeks' time, you guys can enjoy it in full glory. Exactly. But anyway, so yeah, this is the uh, the Gungnir. Uh, I do believe there are multiple uh, versions of this also yeah. coming out. Um, don't have full details about it yet, but it will be to do with uh, one might be, you know, uh, without the tempered glass or something and, you know, just the, the case by itself, uh, not too much RGB. Because we know you guys, some of you guys really love the RGB, uh, love the window and everything, you know, to put everything on display. And some of you guys just think, well, I just like a case that looks tight and, you know, clean and skip the RGB for me. That's mm -hmm. fine. So we try to uh, we try to please everybody with that. So yeah, it does look shiny, doesn't it? Maybe we can uh, while we're doing this. Maybe we can uh, we can uh, turn the lights off and you can see it even better. <laughs> maybe we can make it nice and cozy in here. Let's see if we can do that. There you go. Well, who doesn't like that? There you go. Everything's well in sync. Um, light. <laughs> Let there be light. Uh, well, somebody is asking about the price. Well, uh, the price is going to be very different depending on your region. So uh, we can't really give you the price. So if you're really interested, you have to check uh, with your own retailer, your local e-tailer. Yeah. To just really make sure uh, that you have the correct price. Just keep an eye on it and uh, make sure you, you look for uh, Gungnir. Uh, maybe you can put it in the chat as well. Uh, but again, you know, the case, really, really nice, I have to say. I, I was quite impressed when I saw this as well. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on then. All right. So we'll turn this one off. Don't drop it. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna drop it. It's not hot yet. Ooh. And here I thought it was hot. <laughs> hot hardware. All right. Yep. So, so that was the Gungnir. Yeah, this is the Gungnir. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, it can fit everything. It's a chassis, so there won't be uh, any components inside when you buy it. So that you will have to do yourself or you can maybe ask a friend to uh, assemble your system or maybe there will be some uh, system integrators that uh, offer complete builds with this thing. Um, next up is its bigger brother. And actually, uh, I don't think this one's been announced yet. I, I know they're showing it on the booth <laughs> yeah. uh, at CES, but I haven't seen anybody uh, or any M MSI communication about this yet. So it's kind of so like a sneaky a reveal, exactly isn't it? like an insider info inside. Yeah, yeah. But after this one, we're going to be even more having a, in, an even more inside look at, at one of the products, right? Exactly. This one, yep. we, we have a product for you guys after this one that isn't even on the booth in CES. But we're going to show it to you guys. Wow. So we got some lights flickering and going out here maybe that's a sign yeah for those of you who uh, watch a lot of streams uh, it's not new <laughs> <laughs> i'll see if i can fix it real quick usually you just have to kick it <laughs> there we go up nice and shiny again hmm. rtx on <laughs> <laughs> nice in a sense yes <laughs> nice all right, so, um, yeah, the next product. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. This is also another case, by the way. Um, I believe the name for this one is Balrog. Yes, and this is a full-size, full-tower case. Yeah, so basically, it'll be even a bit bigger than the one we just showed you here. Yeah, so you can, uh, as you can see here, you know, do a lot of crazy stuff because yeah. you have all the rooms for it yeah so here you can see uh on the pictures it has a full water build in it in this case uh, of course if you buy it then there there won't be uh, the components in it but just to display and to show you guys what is possible so it's exactly. it's really crazy it's a very big build um yeah it just gives you a lot of space also it has a bit more uh, um yeah let's it's a little bit, little bit more luxurious i guess in terms of you know all the little details and and uh uh, cable management, you know, you just got more space to do everything. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've already seen a, uh, quite a few people asking about the pricing for the RTX equipped laptops. Yeah. You guys uh, need to have a little bit more patience because uh, maybe we'll actually talk about it later in the stream. Yeah. Pricing, I don't know, but the laptops yes. themselves, maybe. So. Right. Um, so yeah, the Belrog. And so the Belrog will also be available, I believe, in two different models. Uh, and this one is actually, uh, I believe, also still pre-production sample. So uh, it's not in production yet. So there might be still some changes, uh, depending on, uh, you know, what kind of feedback we get uh, at, the, at the event as well. Uh, but again, there will also be probably uh, one version, as far as I know now, uh, with you know full RGB and it will come with RGB uh, fans and, and a controller uh, pre-installed, mm -hmm. so it's quite easy to connect everything. Yeah. And there'll be a version that that is a bit more, um, I believe, pure or plain. <clears throat> yeah, with more without clean, the RGB. Pure. Yeah, exactly, and and just the the nice sleek build. Yeah, so you already answered one of the questions that just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> we just wait a little bit more to uh, produce. <coughs> So is that uh, case already sell on the market now? Uh, this one, no. Um, I don't know when it will be coming. Uh, we'll give it a give it a few months maybe. Um, but you know, it's something that's coming up. It's quite exciting. Um, yeah, really, really nice case as well. So um, the next one, that was the Belrog, by the way. So again, we had Gungnir, we had Belrog, which is positioned above it. It's also bigger, but we also have uh, the smaller brother i would say and this one is really exclusive because it's did not just even did you just assume it's gender i don't know brother or sister it's, it's smaller sibling triggered dude <laughs> <laughs> already <laughs> um so let's see if we can show you guys this we might get in trouble for showing you guys this <laughs> it looks like a lap yeah <laughs> i get what you're saying man it definitely looks like a lap a mini lab in a pc uh -huh. so this thing is actually so new peter is actually just unwrapping it from yep. the plastic exactly bum, bum, bum. get it in the main view and here we go all right guys so this one as you can see it's well about the same size around the same height as the the Gungnir. uh but it's uh, a little bit less uh well a little bit less uh, over the top let's say yeah it still has a lot of nice features this one is called the vampiric uh, as you can see it still has well this version at least it still has the uh, tempered class could be that there is also multiple versions of this uh, it's actually so new and so pre-production we don't know yet uh but this one just came in today and they uh they didn't give us they, they let's just say we didn't give them a chance to tell us we couldn't show it yet yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, and I think especially in the front, uh, there's a nice RGB, you know, in the accents. Yeah, uh, we lines. can't show it yet we because there's, show it, so. there's no power supply or anything built into this yet. We didn't have time to do that. But uh, just trust us when we say in this, uh, these, these shapes here, there are some RGB built, uh, pre-built in. So that's where you'll be able to see that uh, on the sides. I can show you that a little bit as well. Here you can see uh, clearly that uh, this is where uh, the, the fans at the front will be able to suck some air in. On the other side, it's the same story. Uh, it has those intakes as well, as you can see. The other side is closed with uh, just normal, uh, yeah, a normal panel. Um, it's still really nice. So this one will be, uh, I believe, the more, well, I don't want to say entry level, but, you know, it's positioned below Gungnir, so yeah. uh, it, it will probably be, be at a lower uh, price. At the front, maybe you can do the, the close-up uh, cam again. At the front, it still has uh, some quite nice connections built in. So as you see, power button, status LEDs, uh, reset button, uh, the audio jacks, uh, USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 connectors uh, again this is pre-production there's also a button here probably for the fans and uh, you know to turn uh, leds on or off something like this it's pre-production so we don't know might change still another thing i noticed as well is uh this grid here which yeah i mean i really think that you know a lot of, a lot is of magnetic should really have this function it's just yeah. so handy well it's, and it's just easier to you know because in the end dust will settle in here so you want to be able to clean it really yeah. quickly or if you're installing a radiator on top uh, for water cooling or your fans on top, whatever you want to do, it's very easy to just take it on, uh, take it off and uh, yeah, <coughs> use this space. So that's still really, really nice uh, for this case. Yep. 
filter on, filter off. Yes. And yeah, I mean, for the back side, it is really nice with the black, as you can see. Uh, fan pre installed as well at the back. So. Oh, yeah. I wish we could have peeled this off right now. Mm. Yeah, we're not allowed to do that because uh, no, we're, we're still, allowed, you know, guys, again, so. this pre production and we still have a lot of stuff to do. We uh, still have to record maybe some videos with this thing, uh, yeah. uh, do a build in it. So. Mike's going to be really busy with it. Yeah, yeah. And I hope we don't get in too much trouble for showing you guys. But to be honest, you know, we, we, you couldn't, we couldn't just leave it there. We had it. And we wanted to show you guys. I mean, it's MSI Insider. So. Exactly. So you get the Insider look. We saw this thing today for the first time and you saw it with us. So how about that? All right. 360 millimeter red. Ooh, don't know about that. I think it's two, 240 maybe. Yeah, that'll, that'll fit. But I could be wrong. Again, this is also pre-production, so I can't Fair give you the exact numbers. Stages. Yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of comments. Cool magnetic filter. An RGB dragon would be cool. <laughs> you know, the Gungnir has that. So, um, yeah. But, you know, if you like it, um, you can always do that. You guys need to make a stealthy ITX and MATX cases. Good point you know we, we started with cases not too long ago actually so this is i think like the second generation of cases we're making second generation indeed so the first one was was um a pylon which was the one with uh, um, tempered glass on, yeah, on like all, sides. all sides and then you had bunker which was the one with less tempered glass more just more sturdy and uh, a little bit uh, toned down um so yeah you know this is just our second generation who knows maybe upcoming uh period we'll also start with some smaller chassis i don't know uh, if there's enough demand, probably, yeah. Uh, out of curiosity, why is USB still USB 2.0 still being used <laughs> at newer cases such as this? Excellent, uh, excellent question. Um, I think um, I don't know the exact reason here because again, you know, we just got this. We don't know. It might still change. Um, firstly, USB 2.0 is still in uh, used for a lot of devices. Uh, of course, older devices mostly, but uh, also still um, in a lot of devices in general. Uh, and for most people, it's still enough. Uh, USB 3.0 really only comes to uh, comes to life if you use it for either data transfer or you need the extra power it provides. Uh, if you don't need that, then USB 2.0 is just fine. Uh, secondly, probably because this uh, product, uh, we try to also contain the price a little bit. So uh, the, the point is simply, if you put all the newest connectors and gold plated and you know go crazy on it, Price just stacks up and it eventually you get a price point where people just say, well, this makes no sense, you know? So, um, yeah, just, just to, it, it needs to be within a certain margin that it, it is still usable. And, you know, for most people that will think this is fine for me. Um, and we'll also have some products with like pretty much all USB 3.0 or, or exactly. you know, higher yeah, and so all the, the newest stuff. There are a lot so of there needs choices. to be a bit of difference and that's why you can always choose. All right, MSI RAM. <laughs> no, I don't think so, uh, Box. I don't know. It's a shady market, you know. I, I wouldn't want to get into that if uh, if I was uh, in charge. Um, so yeah, that was the Vampiric. Uh, next up, I think also quite uh, quite exciting. We had a lot of uh, announcements, uh, of course, starting mm -hmm. with Nvidia that came out swinging with the RDX. 2060. Uh, I don't think anybody saw that one coming. I'll, <coughs> I'll just wait for you guys just to stop laughing there. Uh, no, I mean, we all we all pretty much knew it was coming, right? We just didn't know what exactly it was, uh, what to expect. And, um, you know, I think yeah. I, I even didn't know until the last moment if it was going to be GTX or RTX because, you know, 2070 was already, you know, it, it had uh, the ray tracing course but it was already like, you know, a lot less. And especially considering that the performance of ray tracing, at least, you know, at the beginning, uh, also before the performance patch on Battlefield 5 was impacted so much, uh, yeah. it just didn't make sense to have a card with even mm -hmm. less ray tracing than 2070 because then who would use it? Uh, but, you know, even with the performance uh, increases already, and again, you know, this is just the first generation and the first game that even supports it. So there's a long way to go still, and a lot of uh, um, optimization still to do. 
Yeah, I think Nvidia stayed at quite a huge performance for this one. They did, yeah, and I think you know this one actually makes a lot more sense. As of the RTX cards, this one, uh, uh, considering the pricing and uh, the performance it provides, it actually makes yeah. the most sense for me uh, out of most RTX cards if you're looking at price-performance ratio, you know. But for 1080p, right? Uh, actually, it's it's pretty good, a pretty good card for uh, 1440p already as well. Yeah, you Big can improvement it, compared it, to the 1060. Uh, yeah, oh well, thanks to it. I mean, you can't really compare it to the 1060, to be honest. You can, but in terms of price, it's more at the level of the 1070. 1070, yeah, definitely. But actually, it's uh, in terms of performance, it's closer to 1070 Ti levels, you know? So, um, yeah, that's why I really think, honestly, it's pretty okay. Um, can you say the MSRP for any of your 2060? Well, the MSRP is the same for everybody, you know? the. Nvidia sets the MSRP, which is an, you know a bottom price or an advisory price basically, and because we want to add, of course, uh, we'll, we'll have cards with uh, close to the MSRP who, who basically just you know down to the basics, not too much bells and whistles. But we also want to be able to show you know with our gaming cards, for example, what we can do, provide the best cooling, uh, provide some optimizations in the PCB and everything like that to give you a better experience um, and higher clock speeds out of the box, of course. So. You know, and that adds to the price. So that's why, you know, we also have a lot of, or some models that will have a higher price than MSRP. MSRP, for you guys, whoever missed it, is uh, $349, so $350, <coughs> basically. What that translates to in your uh, market, your country, really depends on so many things like tax and, and shipping and whatever. So, yeah, uh, yeah uh, Wolf is uh, from uh, Sweden, I think, or Swee Wolf is uh, exactly like say, yeah, 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 local price due to shipping and tax, etc. I mean, but that does make it very difficult to say because it, it can vary a lot. Uh, in some countries, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you're from Sweden, you, you should know, you know, like I think Nordics is one of the, you know, one of those countries also, or one of those regions that also has a yeah, lot of taxes just, on stuff. Uh, Everything's expensive there, right? So, but anyway, um, yeah, let's start off. So, 2060. No, getting to the sexy stuff. Gaming Z. So, uh, RTX 2060 Gaming Z. As you can see, it's uh, a Twin Frozer 7 cooler. Uh, very Looks very similar to the 2070. Yeah. Um, so, maybe a, a, a fine note here is that, uh, obviously, you know, we have more beautiful product pictures, but we were really yeah. trying to show, you know, the products that are at now actually being yeah. shown at the booth, so, yeah. you know, pictures taken there. Yeah. So, we're really giving you that guy, you know, the CES uh, product yeah. feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to stick to the to the feel, uh, look and feel of the event itself. So, this is a product, uh, a picture of the product that's actually on display at the booth. Um, so yeah, you get the same thing that the, the, all the news people who get to go to Las Vegas get as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a small card. Um, I believe next week I'll have uh, a sample for you guys. Uh, I might do a stream, maybe. Maybe I'm spoiling it already. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, so, so I might give you a closer look at the Gaming Z as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit smaller than the 2070, obviously. Um, but it should still be really, really good. And uh, the performance numbers I've seen, really good as well. So yeah, Gaming Z. Uh, it'll still have, by the way, RGB. So don't worry about that. <laughs> if you want to know more about this product, by the way, you can already go to our website and these product pages are already online. So don't, tell, don't tell anybody I told you, but they're already online. So if you want to know more about them now, if you don't want to wait, Head over to that, but definitely check uh, check out next week uh, the stream as well. So there, I'll show you everything live on cam. Um, so I told you guys we have multiple models of the 2060. So this is the gaming model. Again, you know it'll be a little bit more expensive than the MSRP. Expect that. Uh, I don't know how much exactly, but it'll be a bit more pricey uh, because it has some more premium features and a better cooling and higher out of the box clock speed. Don't forget that. But if you don't want to spend that much and you want to stay close to MSRP, but you're still interested in the RTX 2060, we've got the Ventus for you. Bum, bum. I I really like this card. I mean, I liked it when I saw it when it first came out on the 2080, and uh, it, it just it, it it never fails to impress me. This one obviously is smaller in size, uh, weighs less because the cooling uh, there needs to be less cooling on there. But it's still the same basic card uh, and it doesn't have all, you know, this is the perfect card if you don't care about the RGB, 
if you don't care about all the the, the little software extras, you know, uh, just the, the basic, uh, down to the basics, but you do want good cooling because this one uh, with the, uh, the dual fan, uh, actually, I believe uh, these are Torx fans even, um, you know, really good card, really good value. Uh, and you'll get a really good experience as well. Still the good bang for your buck. Yeah, yeah. So this is the, the 27, uh, sorry, 2060. Uh, basically, that's bang for your uh, for your buck. Um, yeah. Again, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky, um, I'll I can also get my hands on a sample of this one. So maybe we could do some comparisons next week, or maybe in a later stream. It's getting better and better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't forget, guys, with these cards, um, if you use MSI Afterburner, you can overclock, and you can get even more performance. And MSI Afterburner actually supports uh, the feature called OC Scanner, which, you know, I used to do overclocking by hand. And, you know, it's fun. But if you're just looking for the extra performance, you don't want to spend too much time doing the, doing the overclocking. The OC Scanner is exactly what you want. It's just literally one click. Give it a few minutes, maybe like 15 minutes or something. It'll find the mm -hmm. optimal overclocking settings and it'll uh, apply them at your command. And then you'll have more performance. That's it. Yeah, I mean, nowadays overclocking, you know, compared to back in the days, it's just so more, it's much more convenient, you know? Well, they, they try to make it more accessible and also it's more, it's way yeah. safer than, than the old days. In the old days, you could actually blow up your power uh, components <laughs> or something if you, if you didn't know what you were doing. Those were these the days, days, these days, it's, it's been made so safe that basically you could just drag all the, all the little, uh, you know, all the values to their max values and, and, the worst thing that'll happen is your card will crash, it'll reset back to the default values and it'll reboot and there you go. That's like pretty much the worst thing you can do if you don't change anything in, in, in the BIOS or um, yeah, if you don't hard mod your card, which means you know you actually start sol soldering on the card, which we don't recommend anyway. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, not yeah. sure, I'm not sure what's happening in the chat. Like somebody is trying to spell my name and then says my name is bullshit. I really? Guess. Yeah. <laughs> really? That, is that what's happening? <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. You, I have you, a difficult name. Are you having some beef? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, you know where to find me. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm All not right. sure what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, but talking about overclocking, I think one of the biggest uh, uh, reveals as well on this event is. <gasps> Jesus the Lord. lightning. So we got a new lightning, guys. So for you, yeah. you overclockers and you guys who love the, the best performance or you guys just looking for the best 2080 Ti, the top model, yeah. uh, this is actually the model for you to look out for. So as you can see, uh, I mean, it looks look at a, it look, looks completely different than last time again, it. you know? Um, it, it has three fans, yes. It has uh, the Torx 3.0 fans. You can already see it has some uh, elements on at least the, the outer two fans uh, that look a little bit different. Um, I believe these have to do with uh, a little bit air optimization, but mostly visual optimization. Um, the gold, uh, <laughs> the gold elements there, uh, you know, with the lightning bolts, really nice brushed. You know, it's very premium. Um, there's a very nice carbon look, uh, com uh, yeah, combined with really, it as well. Really, really love the carbon. This look. thing, man, it's just you know, if you're if combined. you're susceptible to bling, it's just like oh, you know, don't show it <clears throat> to to your girls who like you know the the jewelry or stuff because yeah, they'll it's be it's like, be I want this. You it's know? gonna be gone. <laughs> yeah, I want this card. Um, yeah, really nice card. Uh, also for this one, you know, we're gonna have a separate stream to show you all the ins and outs. Probably I'm gonna try and uh, do a teardown as well for you guys then, you know, to show you the insides as well. Um, I can tell you there's uh, some new, brand new visual effects as well. I don't know how well you can catch them on camera because you know, the shutter speed and stuff like that. Because it's got to do with the two outer fans. There is an effect and you can see it already a little bit in the background on the picture there. But there's an effect that actually you can set it uh, that depends on how fast your fans are spinning, basically. And the, of course, the LEDs also flicker at a certain frequency. So they can make it appear like the fans are actually standing still stationary while they're spinning. So, you yeah. know, it's... it's, it's yeah, I, think, I think this is really the car that you want to integrate in your system vertically. Yeah, yeah, this is one it of them cards. It would be a shame to hide it. Well, to be honest, and I, I'm, I'm really sad that we don't have a picture here at the moment for uh, the backplate. Because honestly, if you have to mount it horizontally, 
the backplate is something to, to watch as well because the backplate i'm told is actually uh is carbon fiber it's like it's not like a, a metal backplate with carbon fiber stickering or something no it is fully built out of carbon fiber so Damn. that's something new they really went uh, full throttle on this one <laughs> yeah they went all out on this one yeah 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 and uh, I'm told that you know there's a there's a heat pipe on the back plate as well, and so it actually helps a little bit with uh, the cooling, kind of like we did with uh, last generation's uh, Lightning as well. And I'm told that the the composition of the carbon fiber is actually uh, thusly that it uh, does um, how do you say this? It does conduct heat better because I was first skeptical when I heard it and I thought wait a minute isn't carbon fiber supposed to be you know resisting heat yes but carbon fiber is a composition of uh, materials and so it depends on the composition interesting so I'm gonna try and find out more about that for you guys but yeah I mean this card whew, holy crap um, so I can't wait to get my hands on this one and I can't guarantee that it's still a one piece by the time we do the stream because, you know, I want to know everything there is to know about this one. And I'm going to share it with you guys uh, in the next in the stream. I mean, this car, I wouldn't even mind to just put it in my living room as decoration. <laughs> oh, I man, mean, that would yeah. be a mortal sin if you do I mean, that. Come you on. have to you have to either, you know, go balls to the wall gaming with this mm -hmm. thing or you have to do extreme overclocking and try to break records. I mean, come but, on. Uh, let's go for the second one. Maybe yeah, we can even do a stream about it. I, I, I know that there are some people doing some overclocking with these cards. There have been some leaks uh, from overclockers about it. And I can tell you that um, world records were hit, were, were, were hurt in the making of this card. Yeah. Well, I think world that, records gonna... really got a rough time. Some mm. of them, you know, shattered. <laughs> but it has to be done. Yeah, well, if you know what you're doing. Yeah, any difference in performance, uh, Gaming Trio and Lightning, uh, I am Mr. P. Well, we're going to have to find out. I'm pretty sure that this card is um, going to be performing better than the Gaming Trio. But the Gaming Trio is already a pretty damn good card. So that's going to be a tall order. But um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna run some tests as well. And I'm going to show you guys what I can come up with uh, and the results and the differences. So um, yeah. Humongous, yes, humongous indeed. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's well, it's, it's all about the size, right? The bigger, the better. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, the goal for this is to make the best card ever, and and we also wanted to make it the best card that we can offer you guys out of the box. Uh, of course, we're kind of limited in some ways as well. I'm not gonna mention why that is, but the guys of you who know about the hardware know what the limiting factor usually is. Um, but uh, you know within those boundaries we're going for the best card you can get uh the best card money can buy and uh, that's pretty much what we're bringing to the table here <laughs> yeah that's uh very clear from the outside already oh yeah well you know you, you needed to look the part you know you can't have a card that looks like you know mm. it's been half-assed exactly you know with a, a, just a water pump sticking out of it or included in the shroud and you know, uh, just a single fan powering it. Uh, maybe no, uh, maybe I mean, I'm maybe I mean, I'm getting too much into uh, <laughs> into specific other cars now. Anyway, <laughs> stick around for a for um, uh, no not yeah. reference, but uh, there's some other cards out there. They are trying. Uh, it's pretty close. But anyway, um, yeah. In the co next couple of weeks, we're gonna have a stream about this. So. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, the price? I'm definitely gonna tune into that stream. I mean, the price is gonna be, uh, you know, you, oh man. If you're asking for the price of a product like this, you don't wanna know. No. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, again, this this is not going for a price, good price performance. This is going for all out performance. Exactly. Whatever the cost. I, I mean, this is the kind of product that's like, you know, you're not gonna ask the price because it's it's like a Lamborghini, you know, you're not gonna ask like, but how, yeah. what's the Lamborghini yeah. gonna cost me, right? You know, this is really just, it's just something to watch and drool, you know. Yeah, and uh, fantasize about. Exactly. Oh, and a little birdie <laughs> told me, by the way, that there's also an integrated LED OLED screen in it. So that means that you can kind of monitor the clock speeds and temperatures and all kinds of other cool stuff. And you can even maybe 
upload some some customized animations into it so you can actually you know make it display whatever you want so you know it's the little things you know you guys it's the little things so yeah let's move on i mean uh, this is this thing's really something to look I don't out for take, I, don't, I don't want to say goodbye to it but let's move on yeah well we have to we have to you know there's other things as well <laughs> well gaming gear for example gaming gear. i mean last week whoever uh tuned into the stream last week already saw some of the products of course uh one of them is the Vigor GK60, which is the keyboard. Uh, I actually have it here, of course, because I had it last week as well. So why wouldn't I have it now? There's actually another product resting on top of it. But here we go. I'll just give it to you. Because you're reeling it in. <laughs> yeah, so a uh, mechanical keyboard again, guys. Um, Let's uh, give you guys a better look. Yeah, give you the full view. So GK60, mechanical gaming keyboard, Cherry MX keys. Sleep um, box. Yep. New box indeed, so uh, let us know what you guys think about that. It used to be black box design, now it's uh, really nice, clean, white. Stands out a bit more. Well, it's actually in here. Yeah, it is, yeah, you can take Ooh. it out if you want. There you go. Give us give us the live unboxing experience. Yeah. Here it comes, guys. Are you ready? Do you guys actually like unboxing? Who doesn't? Well, if you buy a product, it's part it. of the it's part of the process, right? You, you want you want the product. I mean, it's it's so weird because a it's lot already of, been out of the box. A lot of the people that are doing unboxing and stuff, you know, they they like to do a smell test. Have you ever seen it? Oh my god! They actually how, do smell. But tests. how do you communicate smell through a YouTube movie or something like that? I don't know. They basically just like dives in and smells it, and then be like, "All right, guys, the smell test is gonna be like it smells like etc. etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Really? You yeah. don't go just like, yeah, that smells new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's part of it, I think, but uh, they're really going like... I mean, there's a the new test. new product smell for ele electronics, pretty much. And, and you know, it's a very familiar smell. Yeah. And one that usually gets me very excited. Because that means I've got new stuff to play with. By the way, wow. um, you can see there's uh, the normal keycaps are on the WASD keys. Normally, out of the box, it'll come uh, with the metal keycaps installed, pre-installed. On the WASD keys, but you can switch them out. So that's what we already did. Um, yeah, really, really good product, guys. Really cool uh, gaming keyboard. Very solid. Um, just go over the, the basic features again. So Cherry MX Red switches. Um, yeah, very solid. It's what you want. Very durable. Single, only single color LED in there. Only red. Um, also, because we wanted to make it just a little bit more affordable, our other uh, mechanical keyboards have RGB uh, lighting already. So we've already got some uh, products there. Um, this, however, is a little bit more down to the basic. So it, it doesn't have uh, yeah too many um, other stuff. Like it doesn't have a, a USB, uh, extra USB Maybe pass or something. Maybe we can show the color a bit. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really it, like... That, that one's actually off, remember? <laughs> but I just turned it on. Did you? Yeah. All right, let's give it a minute then. All right, so, um, yeah, but I mean, this uh, keyboard, uh, it, ha it has the um, brushed aluminum uh, at the top, so really premium uh, feel and look, and also makes it a bit more sturdy. It's surprisingly, uh, well, I, I wouldn't say it's heavy, but it feels like, you know, it does have a good feel to it that you feel it yeah, like it's, I mean, it's maybe quality they can not really see it on the camera but it's actually like a brush metal here yeah maybe a little bit closer so really it's digging that brush metal look yeah they can see shine but i think the brush part is a bit hard to see oh actually here they can in the corner here they can see bit. it yeah yeah there you go so anyway um yeah, and this one is all about uh, some of the details as well, because you might notice at the bottom here, there's like a space under it, which is like a V-shape. Oh, here we go. Actually, didn't you like do a like a yeah, last in-depth live stream? Last week, yeah. Yeah, 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 I did a live stream about it. So you could check that out, but I mean, yeah, this this one is just a really nice keyboard. So uh, <clears throat> Yeah, you guys you just can do, go to our website, you know, go to msi.com slash insider, right? Yeah, slash two slash insider. insider. And uh, check out all the live streams. Yeah, yeah. Last week's live stream was all about these products, so we talked about this one uh, in depth as well. Um, and another one we talked about is one that's actually not on display at CES, but we've got it right here, which is the mouse, the Clutch GM50. So this one's also new, as you can see also by the packaging. 
And uh, this one we also covered extensively in our uh, last week's stream. And this one, maybe I can also plug it in really quickly. Here we go. Um, is a really nice RGB mouse with uh, a good, really good optical sensor. Um, yeah, it's a right-handed mouse, as you can see. So, and if you want to know more about it, just uh, check out last week's stream. Um, very solid mouse. I really like this one, especially for FPS gaming, but pretty much all around usage. And I think it's also quite a light mouse, right? So for competitive yeah. gaming, you know, where you really have to move a lot. You just throw it around and you, you barely notice you have a mouse in your hand. I mean, it's that, it, it's really light. So that's really, uh, really nice as well. <coughs> yeah, so if guys are interested, check out the live stream uh, of last week. Exactly. I think you guys even played uh, PUBG, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, weekendy. I almost got uh, got a chicken dinner. Almost. <laughs> and I mean, it's not bad considering I didn't play the game for like you know, a few weeks even. I think, because you know, it's the, the life of a daddy is hard. I, yeah. Different yeah, priorities. For those of you guys who doesn't know, uh, who don't know, yeah. Peter actually became a dad some time ago. I'm really happy about that, guys. Really excited. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it does eat into your gaming time, doesn't it? I mean, what? I have a girlfriend who already eats in my gaming time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> decisions, decisions. I hope she's not watching right now. But, uh, decisions, yeah. decisions. Yep. All right. Decisions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see somebody watched the stream last week. Oh, the clickbait. Yeah, exactly. That one. The, the stream was called clickbait. <laughs> Good job. There you go. Um, what's the DPI? If you want to know that, Pradeep, uh, check out the stream last week. We covered that uh, all in detail, so uh, you'll get the information. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the gaming gear. Uh, we also have some really pretty, pretty, pretty cool monitors there, right? And not just yeah. the ones we already showed you guys before, because of course new ones. we have the G-Sync baby right here, and we got uh, the uh, what is that? The MPG? Yeah, this is the MPG 27 CQ. Yeah, exactly. So the the you WQHD know? 1440p. Yep. 144 actually, hertz. Uh, we have a curve. very similar model that, uh, that we're going to show later. Hmm. In its full glory. It's just uh, such a shame. It's so new that we can show it right now. But uh, sneak peek. All right. So, um, what can you tell us about our first product? Our mm. first contender. Ooh, here we have it. Well, as you can see here, we have uh, the Mac 271 CQR. <clears throat> so, like we said before, you know, obviously we have better product pictures, but we're really trying to give you the, the CS look and feel, so uh, the product right now is also being displayed there. Yeah. As you see on the screen, besides our Trident X. Hmm. So, here you can see, uh, well, I already told you it's a 271, uh, so the 27 actually refers to the inches, so you can 27. already see 27 inches. So, you know, we make our naming very cleverly. I would say. And, so what's and then, the one? So actually refers to, you know, if it's one, you know, you can see the generation of it. So uh -huh. you can First go gen. up. I see. So, and then you have CQR. So C, you know, MSI Gaming Monitors, C. Curved. And Q. Damn curves, bro. Exactly. Can you guys guess what the Q stands for? Let's see. I, I kind of spoiled it already. <laughs> Maybe they didn't listen. Okay. I like to think <clears> they do. <laughs> All right, so Q is Quad HD. So we have here the 1440p, like Peter already said, and uh, it's also RGB. So actually on the picture, I can show you the backside. So that's, uh, that's a little bit of shame, but um, actually here you can also see a bit of <coughs> RGB. So it has similar, is it a similar pattern or is it a completely new design on the back? No, this is a new design. A new, ooh. So it's on the upper part of the, yeah, let's say okay. the, the matte part, that's going to be illuminated. And, uh, well, um, if you love uh, 144 hertz gaming and uh, this is, you know, on the front side, you know, there is no RGB for those of you who doesn't like it. So if that's your preference, go for that. You got your 144 hertz on 27 inch. Curved. So, uh, but, I mean, I really dig the curved part because... Uh, you, you know, when they started this on the TVs, it was like curved TV. And I'm like, mm, it might be good if you're like living on your own. Yeah. But if you have more people, you know, one person is always going to have, always going to have the one aspect that's not really coming towards you, but away. But for gaming monitors, you know, having curved monitors is really 
it really immerses you into the gaming because it's really coming towards you like your eye peripherals. Yeah. And it makes sense because for PC gamers, unless you know you, you kind of you have to move around a lot. I don't know who does that, but usually when you're gaming, you're sitting still, so yeah. you are sitting in the exact same position. So there, you will be in the center of exactly all the viewing angles. So that's yeah. what you want. So paired up with one MS uh, response time and uh, of course Mystic Light. Well, I mentioned the backside is going to be lit up, but it's uh, going to be compatible with our Mystic Light. So uh, it's also freezing compatible. Mm. There you go. So what more can you ask? You guys have, you know, uh, GeForce cards or something, then mm. starting soon, FreeSync means you can also use it with that. So exactly. So nice little choices. bonus. Nice little bonus. Awesome product. And speaking of sync, I believe we have this one as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why this is so familiar. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, does, <laughs> like, it does ring a bell, doesn't it? Exactly. I, I think, uh, oh yeah, I've seen uh, some live streams about this. Uh, have you? Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I definitely. I, I, maybe I've seen even some product videos in it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, guys, so yeah, we uh, obviously also have our uh, first G-Sync monitor displayed on CES, which is also present here right now. Yeah. And uh, so on the back, you can already see uh, there's also a LED strip. So on the, uh, on the picture, it's green, but it's actually also our Mystic Light uh, yeah. compatible light. So it's going to be full RGB the way you want it. And uh, well, 240 Hertz with G-Sync. So if you are into competitive gaming, I mean, you play CSGO, right? I also play I, CSGO. I, I, I used to. You used to? Oh, right. I forgot you have uh, <laughs> You have a kit now. No, honestly, I haven't played it that much. Uh, I've, play, I've tried it a little bit. But indeed, you know, for CSGO, those games. But even if you play uh, other games like Dota, uh, League of Legends, yeah, you know, so you just really want... Competitive. The, yeah, the fastest response times. You want the smoothest, uh, you know, the smoothest uh, animations. It just, it's just, it's something mental as well. I mean, you, you see it and you feel it when you play it. But it's something mental as well that happens. When I switched to higher response rate or higher refresh rate, I should say, I felt more confident that I can, you know, respond quicker to situations. So it actually exactly. improved your game like that as well. And that's something that you can't, yeah, you can't make up. It's you just have to experience it to to see what it's, I mean there. Yes, it's really like a world apart from uh, what you're actually used to. And you know, to what you're saying, you know, when you're moving around, you actually do see better uh, images. Do actually get sharper when you're moving around because yeah. you're having so much more frames pushed into, you know, per second. The movement itself, you know, yeah. things that move around, and especially with your shooters, everything moves around pretty much, except your gun maybe and your crosshair. But uh, yeah, so that that remains a more sharp, and and so you'll, yeah, it's easier to to spot things. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's all around better, guys. Just exactly. Just, it's all around better. And even if you don't play play competitive games, you know, uh, you can still uh, get up to whatever FPS you want uh, as long as it's within the range. And get on that G-Sync, you know, you can still yep. enjoy smooth. this monitor smoothness. So No tearing. Exactly. So try it out. You really have to try it out to see what we're actually telling yeah. you. Yeah. Because I didn't understand it before I actually tried it myself. Yeah. I mean, I had an idea about it, but when you try it, it's... This is about experience, guys. Exactly. So we can tell you all about the specs and the numbers and blah, blah, blah. And you'll be like, yeah, whatever. It's 244, yeah. 144, 1000. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 1337. Sure. I've yeah. seen it all before. I've heard it. And a lot of... But it's not until you actually do it and you experience it that you're like, oh, wait a minute. This is different. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah, it is different. And that's the thing. So. And I think the pros have a lot of the same, uh, a lot of them have the same idea because this is already like the monitor of choice for a lot of esports teams yep. and esport tournaments. And uh, so, you know, go try it out, please. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something that, it, there's a reason that esports e professionals choose high response rates. So they just want the fastest possible. Mm, yeah, uh, I see we have uh, quite, a, quite a few uh, competitive gaming enthusiasts out there. Yeah, 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 of course, of course we do. Right, so um, next one. Let's go. What is the next? I don't know. Let's see. Ooh. So this, this one looks interesting. It looks exactly. very similar to to the, the, the monitor that's actually uh, in front of you, right? I mean, it has a lot of the same Yes, actually, uh, yes, because they are actually from the same group. So it's from mm. our MPG group. So performance. 
And uh, as you can see, it actually looks quite similar. Well, actually, they can't see the front side of my uh, monitor. My so, uh, but yeah, it actually looks pretty similar because you know they have the same LED strips on the uh, front side. The uh, game sense. Yeah. So it can. Well, well, we, now we're talking about it anyway. So you know, you you might be thinking, why would there be LED strips in front of the monitor, right? So imagine yourself, you're playing a game, and so this is game sense, like Peter already said. So it can synchronize with your game and show you what's actually happening in the game through the LEDs. So you know, one might be showing you, hey, you're low in health, or you know, you need to reload, or you're being shot at. You know, so they actually have a function. So it's not just there for decoration; it's actually there having a purpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's you know that's what I really like about it. So for people who that who yeah. really like RGB, you know, it's there. And for people who don't maybe don't like RGB, you know, you still have a purpose. A purpose there. Yeah. That's it's, it's relevant. Actually, yeah. Or you can actually I've seen you know it, it's not only games that it supports, but there's also like uh, I believe uh, Discord, like a you know, chat program. So if you yeah. want to keep an eye on when you get a notification or something, you know, you can also even let it trigger to that, and so let it respond. And yeah, in go. a sense, so it's really like smart lighting that's trying to make your experience more uh, convenient. Yeah. But what's special but, about this one is? So as you can see on the picture, you might already notice, hey, it actually looks quite white, right? So correct. So this is our MPG341 uh, CQR. So for those of you who paid attention in the past 10 minutes, you might already guess how big this is. So it's 34 inch. Three, four. I already saw uh, MSI Gaming in our server Discord going, wow, ultra wide. That's right. I look a bit weird because I had to sneeze, but. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, why. The sneeze didn't happen. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> so, uh, so, you already, so, I already told you it's 34 inch and it's ultra wide. <laughs> so, it's, uh, the ratio is 21 by 9. And uh, it's also 1440p. And. 144 hertz. Ooh, so nice. more screen real estate. Yeah, it's you know you have when you're at, whenever you're in, in game you're you can actually see more on the sides. Yeah. So it's not like just there and stretches out your view. No, it doesn't stretch out your view. It will really show you more of the yeah. game, which is I think one of the most brilliant part yeah. about ultra wide monitors. So it's a bit more immersion even. Yeah, and so it's also curved so it's c right c q r so it's c curved so it will come even more towards you even more immersion quad hd so 1440p i think i already mentioned that and uh, it also has rgb so the smart and uh, already also kind of spoiled it so the smart lighting part i i even see some people saying it'll be so useful in a work environment yes <laughs> yes. yes talk yes, to your exactly. boss talk you need this you yes. need that you can't work without this i mean you can have it's like having two screens in one yeah and when your boss is not looking you can do other stuff exactly you, know? you can play games uh, <laughs> and uh you already mentioned a bit about you know what the led strips can actually do because uh, it's actually not just led strips on the back side you also have uh you know the rgb uh, mystic light and so I already mentioned smart lighting. So, you know, Peter already said, you know, hey, if you get a message, you know, it will tell you about it. And it goes even beyond that, actually, because it's still in the early stages, but yeah. we are getting, you know, the, the we're expanding the, the possibilities. Like, for example, if the weather, well, if it's raining, yeah, it will actually going to go blue. So well, you get even more depressed. Exactly. <laughs> so you're going to be like, oh, even Aww. more gaming then. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if it's sunny, you know, you'll glow uh, yellow, bright yellow or something. So there's going to be a lot more possibilities. And uh, I'm really excited, looking forward to, you know, what this actually can bring to you guys. And um, it doesn't stop yeah. there. No, no, no. We just keep... No. Yeah, yeah, we showed you before I mean, yeah. the, 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 the movie where uh, the notebook is, you know, and all the light panels and, and the Philips Hue is, com you know, also uh, communicating with each other and, and making yeah. the effects. This will be part of the ecosystem. And yeah, that's the end goal, you know, that everything is connected. <clears throat> So this monitor, I think, you know, the, the, mo the most special part about it is that it's really AI powered, so artificial intelligence powered. So it's gonna have a lot of automated, uh, say, aspects that will make you your experience more convenient, mm -hmm. more enjoyable. So uh, there's actually a very exciting part about it that we can't tell you yet because it's still in a very early development part. It. But yeah. you really have to look forward to it, keep an eye on it. But yeah. what we can tell you is that uh well there's actually a camera on there i'm not sure you can see it's, it on the picture yeah, it's but in the middle of yeah. the bottom of the monitor just above the, the, the middle center led strip 
I believe. Yes. There's right like a above tiny the hole. One. This is like a camera. So you know, people microphone. can. Yeah, you know, if you're if you're sitting close enough, people can watch up your nose and stuff. It's really cool. I'm just I'm not, kidding. I'm not sure it's meant I'm just, for that. I'm but, just kidding. But yeah. No. So there's actually a camera in there. And uh, let, let's just take Peter as an example. So oh Peter God. is using this monitor, this MPG341 CQR. So he's sitting there. And so I already mentioned, right, it's AI power. So it's going to be smart. So say Peter is using it and Peter gets angry because he just got killed in CSGO. Yeah. So he becomes angry. And then the monitor will just be like, oh, he's triggered. Let's shut down his PC. Arrgh. I'm kidding. That's not going to happen, yeah. but you get a context because yeah. um, the, the camera is going to be registering your face. Uh, you can set the profiles, you know, maybe, you know, hey, he recognize, hey, Peter is here. He likes to play CSGO, you know, he doesn't like too bright of a screen, you know, yeah. so it will just ch uh, tune down the brightness. Yeah. You, so you can set profiles basically yes. is what he's getting at. So you can set profiles, uh, which basically says, I identify, okay, this person is in, sitting in front of it. Okay, that means that uh, these settings apply and it can apply to monitor settings, of course. That's the first thing. So it can be brightness, you know, color profile, something like that. Oh, he wants a, a crosshair on his screen because he always plays the, those games. Uh, but it can also apply maybe to uh, the, the whole PC. So it can be, for example, yes. Imagine, you know, like tablets, you know, there's like a, a kid safe mode or something. Imagine you have kids. Maybe I'm in a parent mindset now, but anyway, <laughs> it can be like, okay, this is my kid. So that means that uh, certain aspects have to be locked and certain browser histories have to be deleted. I don't know. You know, it's, there's, there's so many possibilities. Exactly. Or, you know, uh, so, so yeah. Even like, even we have to wait and see, you know, what's the full potential yep. of this artificial intelligence powered uh, monitor going to be. Because like Peter said, it's not just about the monitor because no. you can actually control your system. So there's going to be tons of possibilities and we just gave you a few examples. So you yep. really have to look yep. forward to what's the full potential. I also see a little something sticking out at the bottom right of the screen mm -hmm. there. Yeah, actually, we also have uh, the mouse bungee Ooh. incorporated. Ah. And uh, well, I think most of you already know what it is. Uh, if you watch any professional games or if you have, you know, a corded mouse at home, it would be like this damn thing is just <laughs> always stuck or something, you know? You, so your mouse you can, can, can catch on stuff. stuff. Exactly. I, Mike, for example, he uses very low. He was telling us last week he uses very low mouse sensitivity, which means he has to move like a meter or something to move two yeah. pixels on the screen. His desk is like three meters. Basically. So that means that he's knocking over stuff on his desk all the time because his yeah. mouse cable is just, you know, moving all, you know, all around. And so if you have a bungee, you can basically just fix it to a point. And especially with a wide monitor like this, it makes sense because it extends a little bit more to the right. So you can actually just attach it to the mouse bungee and you can just throw your mouse around, but the cable itself will just be fixed at a certain point, which means that it's not knocking stuff over. Exactly. Basically. So you also won't get stuck because sometimes when your mouse cord is actually running down yep. your desk, you can get stuck because of other cables or etc. Yeah. And uh, so that's just yeah. a really nice plus. I think for any serious gamer, it's it's a it's, it's, it's a small extra, but it's like a yes. quality of life improvement. You know, it's I, I haven't seen this. To you. Yeah, I haven't seen this in any other monitor either. I mean, th those mouse bungees you have to buy separately. separately. They're, they're they're you know they still cost like thirty forty dollar euro whatever, and it's just a, a a thing that holds your mouse cable up, and that's fine. But why not include it in something you have there anyway, so you don't have to put something extra on your desk? Exactly, you know? makes sense. So pretty cool. I'm I'm really excited for this one, especially because it's what FreeSync yeah. compatible as well. Yes. So somebody asked, Woo! is this G-Sync? Uh, so uh, no, it's not G-Sync, but it's uh, FreeSync. And if you paid attention, you would know that even if it's FreeSync and you need to have G-Sync. Yeah. Well, you know, Nvidia cards, GTX, yep. RTX will also be supporting FreeSync. <clears throat> yeah. So this one is just really, I think that's also why it's one of the models that have won uh, the CS 2019 uh, Innovation Awards. Yep. It's just so packed with uh, innovative features. Exactly. And I really can't wait to uh, get my hands on this model and have a really dedicated live stream for you guys to show you what it can do. Yeah. And so basically, uh, Donald, uh, Donald Kane, yes, it's a smart monitor, this one. Yes. Definitely. AI all the way. Use those tensor cores, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we should have like our own dedicated logo, like saying AI on. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It's... All right. So, um, yeah. That's it for monitors. Something for else. 
Game desktops. desktops. So we have systems. You know, you guys know our systems, right? And of course, we, we've got notebooks, but we've also got desktops. So these are the desktops. Yeah. And we've got some brand new ones, I believe. Well, uh, not all of them, because uh, we also have the new ones there, but yeah. also the ones that were actually just brought out last year. Still being so they're shown. Pretty, pretty new. I mean, last yeah. year, that means like a few weeks ago. Yeah, of course, yes, yes. I mean, not... It sounds like a long time ago, out. you know, but it's <laughs> exactly. last year is only like two, two weeks, three years, so, two weeks. let's show them the first model, if I'm correct. <laughs> it's gonna be our famous Trident X. This thing is so nice. I really love this one. I mean, for those of you uh, who uh, paid attention to our streams in the past few weeks month you would have seen this bad boy like quite a few times because it really deserves the uh, all the attention that it can get because as you can see this is my arm it's like just slightly shorter than my forearm and my hand i'm just gonna turn it on there sorry yeah couldn't couldn't help myself <laughs> i understand i mean so you can already see it's a very compact very small form uh sized desktop so that's why it's also only 10 liters 10 liters packing with, do you believe me, an i9 9900K? I mean, that's ridiculous. It's, it's yes, it's bigger than I tried in before, you know? Yeah. But the, 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 just the amount of power that's in there, that's Exactly. I mean, a PlayStation crazy. is still just going to be like up here. So it's really yeah. just on the edge of being the same size. But yeah. it's just the amount of hardware that's being pushed in here. It's like just amazing. So I already mentioned like up to i9 9900K. K, yes. And RTX 2080 Ti. K, I mean, that, that means overclocking, guys. I mean, look at the size and look at the hardware that's being pushed in here. Yeah. And as you can see here, it's we have a very nice MSI RGB CPU cooler. Yeah. Fully, of, of course, you're going to be asking about missing like Yes, of course, it's going to be fully compatible with missing like This yeah. entire case everywhere that's, yeah. you know, that has lighting, it's yeah. going to be a uh, Mystic light. And if you shift to the other side, you can see... Yeah, so on the front, we have RGB Mythic Light. Yeah. And... On the other side, you can see... On the see other side, we already have... We know you guys love the Ventus, guys. We know you guys yes. like it. So there it is. The 2080 Ti Ventus. There's a 2080 Ti in this Yes, thing. yes. 2080 Ti. Exactly. And it's you can just carry it between your arms. And you know what the most amazing thing about this thing is? Because I've seen form factors like this before, and then they're running amazing hardware and stuff. But then there's like, you know, you get the cable, and then there's like a, a, one or two or three huge power bricks, you know? Yep, yep, yep. This thing actually has the, the, the power supply built in, you know? So there's no bricks that you have exactly. to bring. I mean, this system is just really ready to go for whatever purpose you have for it. Like yep. carry it around or just want to push, you know, the most. Okay, just get the most out of your gaming experience. I yep. mean... It just can't Frankly, go wrong it's with this ridiculous. One. This yeah. thing, and so and for those of you, I can't imagine why. But if you don't like the side tempered glass panel, you can just very easily take it off because it, they're they're just hanging by two hinges, and then put on a steel panel. I can't imagine why you would do that, but it, the possibility is there. Yeah. So uh, let's go back to here. So this is our Trident X ninth generation for those of you who are interested you know check out our past live streams or even the reseller videos uh, on youtube that we have check out our channel you can see all the features and uh, just get blown <coughs> away by it yeah but there's actually i mean there's there's multiple variations of this product right and also exactly. even a, uh, a trident a i believe or did yes. i just spoil it actually uh there's gonna be two more models coming out from the same ninth generation Trident lines. So right now we have showing the Trident X ninth. There's gonna be different models in the ninth generation. And I think maybe we can just move on to the next one and we can show them. Yeah. It's, it's right in there. Yeah, sure. So if you guys are ready to take your goodbye with the Trident X. <laughs> oh. Wait, 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 I mean, just, wait, 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 let me unplug it. Yeah, there we go. It's just so easy to carry around, you know. I can't believe I have like a <coughs> 100K and 2080 Ti in my hand right now. Yeah. <laughs> So let's put it down right there. So, all right. Um, so, you're fan sell on the market soon. I, I think, I believe we do have a fan on the market, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know if this is the RGB fan though. Uh, we do have to. No, it's not an RGB one. It's the it's the the 120 millimeter torch yeah. fan. 
Yeah, but it's not RGB. Hmm. All right. So, uh, any interesting questions from the chat, maybe? No, just a lot of people saying, you know, really nice, small, clean, nice, ridiculous, small but beast. It just needs the Lightning 2080 Ti. <laughs> like where your head's at, dude. I like it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh boy. 24 hertz monitor. Yeah. Oh, uh, who knows? That would Maybe, be a good uh, fit for for the the Trident X. Definitely. It could handle 2040 hertz, 2040 FPS in a lot of games. Yeah. Awesome. Right. So we can move on if you want. Let's go. So, as you can <laughs> as you can see in the table, we have already spotted there are two more new models coming out in the Trident ninth generations. So the Trident A 9th So this will be more like uh, a little bit of a tune down in power for those of you you know who doesn't really require an i9 9900K or uh, combined with 2080 Ti. Yeah. So you can go for this version. Uh, but even in this version, you know you. Just slightly downgrading a bit. So as you can see on the table, I'm not sure if you can read it. If you can, just tell us, you know, but I'll try to um, tell you anyway. So the Trident A9 is going to be with up to i9-9900. So yeah. not a K version. No overclocking. Exactly. And you can choose to go up to RTX 2070. So as you can imagine, you know, with this thing, you still cannot still go pretty freaking wrong. sweet. Still pretty freaking sweet. I mean, I can't imagine when I can get get my hands on this combination, but uh. so the, the the Trident A 9th will be based on the Intel B three hundred and sixty uh, platform, yeah, chipset. So I say it's a cut down version of the twenty. Uh, I mean, the Trident X ninth generation, but it's really still a magnificent beast. Yeah, and aesthetically, I think there are more differences between these two because here you only have a single color LED strip, so it's yep. still Mystic like compatible, but you won't have the RGB experience no and also there is no tempered glass so you can't really stare into your computer like you can do with the trident x and also there's uh no cpu cooler with rgb so aesthetically you know there are a lot more differences so than this one is more just performance and yeah. and less of the bells and whistles and exactly just, just, so just performance and you know just go yeah like like your story with the 20 uh, 26 ti you know you have fender you have the gaming z yeah. version you yeah. know the gaming z is really for those who, who want more features yeah. you know rgb all the way yeah so here is really like a more subtle humble version yeah. they that's still actually a beast but a little bit more focusing on the essentials you know exactly so then there's also a Trident X Plus 9th. This is actually quite identical, but it's newer. So that's why you can also see it has a Z390 chipset. So as you can imagine, this will be a better overclockable version. Well, it's it's an upgrade. Uh, and especially it's down to, uh, for example, because the Trident X 9th that we just had here is based on the Z370 chipset. Mm -hmm. And the main difference with the Z 390, of course, is that it supports more uh, M.2 devices. That, so that's, that's also I... why you get more storage and, of course, uh, yeah, more faster storage. I mean, M.2, that's where it's at, man, especially exactly. for the speed. So with the Trident X9, you have one slot uh, for the M.2, and uh, with the Trident X Plus, uh, you know, plus, it gets bigger. Your storage gets bigger. So you have two M.2 slots. Yeah. So it's a small upgrade, but yeah. it's an important one. Exactly, for those of you who really require the second one, you know, with all the Steam games that you have in your library, I can imagine yep. if you want to have the best performance, you don't want to have it on HDD, mm. go for it. So, um, yeah. really got to look uh, look forward to Trident's uh, entrance this year. Trident, Trident grew up, man. It really grew it, up. It I mean, started it, small, but I mean, now it's it, like, holy crap. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still literally small, but... In the essence, it's still very big. Well, it's, it used to be when you see the system, the Trident, it would be like, oh, you know, it's, it's nice, cute. It's, oh, it's so cute, cute, cute. And now you're like, oh, all right. Yeah. That's like, I need exactly. to take this it's seriously. A, exactly. It's exactly that <laughs> thought. And then Trident X uh, came, he just like kicked down the door, like, I'm here. Yeah. And then from there on, he just like, you know, like, I'm, I'm here and I'm, I'm kicking everybody's ass. Exactly. And so it's like Trident X made its own family. So its yeah. family is getting bigger now. Yeah. So really glad to see that part. So I hope you guys are really looking forward to uh, to it as much as uh, we do. All right. Okay. So, so what do we have now? Now something a little bit bigger. Oh my God. Ooh, a full size the system. Bigger brother. The Infinite X ninth generation. Uh, so as you can see on the picture, you know, I think it looks magnificently. The pattern 
on the front, the tempered glass side panel, and as you can see, there's plenty of room, breathing room. Even though it's a tempered glass, there's still, yeah. as you can see, you know, there's plenty of room. So no worry about that part because most of you, whenever, whenever you see a tempered glass on the side panel, you're <laughs> just like, what about the temperature? Can he breathe? You know, no worries because we actually have different hinges. Uh, well, actually, don't have hinges, but uh, thumb screws. Yeah. That you can exchange. So if you think like, hey, I don't think this is enough to breathe, you can actually change the bigger ones that come right in the so, box. So there are standoffs where you can exactly. actually increase the room between yeah, the case Yeah, so you can make the distance the even longer. So, uh, if you have remembered anything about the Trident X 9th generation, good for you because this is going to be quite similar. So, it also packs i9 9900K up to 2080 Ti. Uh, it's fully RGB Mystic Light compatible as you can see the inside, the outside. Um, we actually do have it here, but it's really cramped up here with all the products, so uh, I can't really show it right now to you. But if you're really interested in what it is, what it can do, uh, all the air, uh, all the effects, you know, you can just look up all the past streams. Right before Christmas, I think, we just had the, the X Brothers yeah. uh, live stream, so they tried an X and the Infinite X. Because they're so similar, and this is really like just a bigger brother. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but also very, very <clears throat> beast. Exactly, and uh, it also features a silent storm cooling, just like with the Trident X. Uh, so even though it packs i9 9900K and 2080 Ti, you know, heat is absolutely no problem because we have a really exclusive, dedicated uh, heat dispersion system that really keeps all the compartments really cool. Yeah, and separated, which means that your CPU isn't affected by mm. your GPU temperatures, for example, and vice versa. So. Exactly. So. Really, uh, go check it out if you haven't seen it, man. Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, the, the design also. So um, I don't know what's what's there to not like it, and yeah. <laughs> just just gotta check it out. It's a really cool system. So here again, you know, there are uh, different yeah just configurations, like, just like with the Trident. So uh, the Trident X, uh, it's the ninth generation, and within the infinite ninth gen. I'm sorry, I said Trident, but I meant infinite. X. Infinite. So the Infinite X 9th generation, within the 9th generation there are also more models coming out just like with the Trident. Yeah. So as you can see here we have more models coming out, the regular Infinite 9th, uh, we have the Infinite 8 9th, we have the Infinite X 9th which is what we just talked about and the Infinite X Plus 9th. So a bit of the same philosophy as with the Trident. So we try to keep our uh, lineups and models a bit more consistent to yeah. not confuse you guys. So that's why it's so similar with the Trident. So because it's the yeah. same. Principle. But different form factor. Exactly. So this is like the mid tower, so mid tower sized computers, uh, desktops. And so to start with, you know, you can choose for the infinite, a, infinite nice. If you don't really want too many features, you know, you don't really want to play all the games uh, in uh, 1440p or even 4K. So if you're just a modest, you know, 1080p player. Well, actually, actually up to 2060, mm -hmm. I'm seeing. So that, that means that even 4040p, 4040p should exactly. be no problem. Nice correction. So even, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all very new. I even surprised myself because I actually expected this to be a less performing PC, but it's actually a really well performing PC already. And this is like the starting point of the yeah. infinite ninth generation. And uh, if you're not enough, not satisfied with an i7 9700 and an RTX 2060, sorry, you can go for the infinite A because the infinite A also look quite different. So the Infinite Ninth doesn't have Mystic Light. Uh, it doesn't have tempered glass. So there's no uh, there's also no water cooling yep. inside. And if you fancy a lot more features, go for Infinite A because it's also better in performance. Because here yep. you can go all the way up to 2070. So you still have an i7 uh, 9700, but paired with a 2070. And uh, you will have Mystic Light. I mean. Yeah, RGB nowadays. You can, you can show off a little bit more, you know. Exactly. So it's, it's, a, it's a relatively small upgrade, um, but still pretty good for 2070. Um, but most of all, most importantly, the difference between Infinite and Infinite A in this case is well, you can see it in the pictures. Tempered, tempered glass, glass well, and it was also light. synchronized. So the tempered Mist, glass mystic really light. Oh, no, temp tempered glass sync. Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, it can really show off your computer. It yeah. can show off the inside if there's no mystic, uh, tempered glass. Yeah. So, you know, if you really fancy this function, go for the Infinite <coughs> A. Yeah. And you but really want to... Especially for the Infinite A and Infinite, so the, the CPU cannot be overclocked. 
Yeah, so I think that's worth mentioning as well because game. that's the major difference between these two and both Infinite X and Infinite X Plus. Exactly. So that's why you also see that maybe you can't, uh, maybe you can. But so there uh, with the Infinite X Ninth and X, uh, Infinite X Ninth Plus. Yep. You have the C370 and 3390. So you can rarely see, hey, that's that means uh, overclocking. Exactly. So that's why, you know, with A and the regular one, it's a non K CPU. Yep. And with the X and the X Plus, you have the K versions. So these two are really meant for, you know, the enthusiasts uh, who actually really even want to overclock. If yep. you want to, you know, go for it because we actually have water cooling standardly built in. Yep. So no worries there. And just happy gaming yeah. right like you always used to say <laughs> yeah i yeah. still say i still say it yeah. yeah but i mean and you're gonna get all the way up to 2080 ti on those systems yes, so that means exactly. that with the water cooling and, and and a good card in there which we provide you know that means that pretty much you can overclock the hell out of it and have the beastly performance you know get everything you can out of those components um and there should be no problem you know it's it's all well built pre-built so you don't have to you know if you don't like the tweaking and the building uh, it's just a system that will just give you one of the best systems on the market at the moment and you can just go ham on it. Yeah, I mean, if I got this system, I mean, the Infinite X or X Plus, even... Is this going to be a meme? If, if I would have that system, I would be so happy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, um, you know, who wouldn't yeah. be happy with a system like that, to be yeah. honest? It's just beast. Exactly, and it also looks like a beast. It does, yeah. I can already see the Fentus there, just staring at me through the Temple class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really awesome. So, All right. Uh, yeah. So, keep an eye on it, guys. Check it out. Coming soon. Coming uh, to a shop near you. Exactly. So, the Infinite X Knight is already there, but the other ones. Yeah. All right. So, we also have something a little bit smaller in size, don't we? I mean, we yeah, talked we about the Trident. And, and, and this the is also is very new. And this one is actually on the booth. So what we did is we asked one of our colleagues there to make a little recording for you. So here we go. So if you're someone really looking for a small compact PC that won't really break the bank, what we have here is the... You got a little bit a of a technical hitch. There we go. Uh, someone better. that's just getting into gaming and doesn't have much space to work with. Um, the Infinite S Lite. For those of you space. wondering. So if you're looking for a good... You can't uh, hear what he's actually saying, so... <laughs> Infinite S is right here. So that was it. Maybe we, we need to start again. Let's see, because you, you guys probably didn't get the first part. So, of it. so here we go. Really looking for a small compact PC that won't really break the bank. What we have here is the Infinite S. The Infinite S is a great solution for uh, someone that's just getting into gaming and doesn't have much space to work with. Um, you can put it easily on your table without taking up very much space. So if you're looking for a good uh, thing for the buck, that's much better. Infinite S is right here. All right. So <clears throat> again, I so hope. this is the the Infinite S. So Knight. what does S stand for? Super? <laughs> no, it's actually just grading down. Small. Well, obviously it's small, so maybe it's apparent. So uh, <laughs> there might be like a rule of thumb for you guys to remember. So the X is like just all the way up, like X power. And then you have the small ones. So you can also see that's actually very small because uh, it's right next to the monitor and he's right standing next to it. It's actually also a 10 liters only PC desktop. Right. Right. So as you can imagine, you just saw the Trident X. It's also 10 liters. So this one is also a very small form factor uh, desktop, but it's actually quite powerful. So even though it's small, it's still gonna come with an i5-9400 and the RTX 2060. Mm -hmm. So as you can imagine, you know, if the Trident X is a bit of overkill for you and <laughs> you still want a small form factor and uh, you know, hey, go for this one. I mean, this thing looks very modest, but there's yeah. some great <laughs> gaming performance in there. <laughs> the and outside is quite humble. It, it really reminds me of like the, the old Nightblades that we used to have, the Nightblade MI and the exactly. Nightblade MIB and that, you know, those are so really nice lab. PCs as well for people who like smaller form factors. and. Yeah, so let's really just good. say this is like the the offsprings. Yeah, they will continue their uh, their line. <laughs> so um, this this one will also actually come with two M.2 slots, and as you can see already on the front, there's a small LED strip. This is actually mid uh, light compatible, so uh, you can still enjoy some RGB. It's not too over the top, but it's still there. Yeah, uh, I really like it. It's quite subtle, and uh, well. <laughs> 
Actually, uh, they you know, I can't really show like the other sides of it, so uh, that's a bit of a shame. But maybe uh, uh, soon in a future stream we yeah, might yeah, have a sample might here. Get a sample of it, so uh, Ja will have its way, have his way with it. Definitely. So um, on stream, so you can see everything <laughs> he does. Yep. <laughs> and it actually also has a vertically integrated uh, graphics card for those of you uh, who really want to enjoy that. So uh, that's quite nice. And I think for this configuration, it really can go wrong. Yeah. Is, so it, is it safe to spray paint it? <laughs> well, I, I think it's safe. That's a weird uh, question. What, what color would you spray paint it? Depression and sar sarcasm. That's a nice name as well. Uh, I, Jesse Official, by the way. Hello. They're really uh, doing, your, doing yourself a uh, fan out there now. Huh? Well, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, uh, if you want to spray paint it, uh, sure. I mean, you can probably do it. It's uh, We wouldn't recommend it. It's not officially supported, obviously, for obvious reasons. You probably could do it, but... I mean, you can. Why would you? I mean, you can do that with everything, right? But it doesn't mean that you should. Do well, it. I, mean, I wouldn't do it on a monitor, to be honest. Actually, you can also spray, <laughs> spray your girlfriend. I mean, it's not recommended, so <laughs> you can do it, but don't. Okay, let's yeah. move on. <laughs> I believe uh, we've got some um, non-gaming products as well, right? So exactly, is that that might be a bit new for you guys, or just thinking, hey, that's that's uh, a bit of a different direction. But actually, we want just to, you know. For those uh, for those people out there who is content creators, yeah, not really fully into gaming, yeah. you know. But, but there's a lot of people who do both, you know, people who, who play games, but also record it, uh, you know, put it on YouTube or uh, Twitch, you know, stream it, whatever. So there's like an overlap, and yeah. and it, there, you know, it's more and more people who are doing a little bit more than just gaming, but are you know trying to do some content creating on the side as well, which is really cool, and we try to support that. Uh, but these products are more for the the well, I think we call it prosumer. <laughs> yep. You know, like the, the professional prosumers. professional consumer. So that's basically, it's not like ridiculous levels of, well, cost, if especially. So it's also something that a normal, you know, person who, who doesn't, does it, uh, you know, doesn't um, do it for a job, uh, like, like uh, photo editing, movie editing, that kind of stuff. But you can still do a lot of it on there. It's powerful enough and uh, the quality is really good. Um, so those kind of products. But, I mean, we can talk all about it, but how about we just show it? Exactly. Yeah. Let's go. First up. So, we have the video here. Oh, we have another. Oh, yeah. Shocking. I'm sorry, guys, but... Uh, Sometimes it just, it just happens. So I'll start it again for you guys. Hey guys, this is Eugene from MSI, and we are out here at CS 2019. We have some awesome new products to show you, and I'm in front of the newest prestige really monitor, the PS34 One WU. And this monitor is really about uh, content creators, designers, graphic artists who need really good uh, color reproduction and big workspace. So oh, this can't monitor wait to have it, uh, uh, have it tested. 51, 20 by 2160 resolution. Um, it has HDR 600, um, all the standards such as sRGB, Adobe RGB, as well as DCI P3. So uh, it color it covers a lot of the color gamut, um, and you know it's going to be a great product for you if you're really interested in uh, content creation. All right. Thank you. <laughs> so this is a 5K monitor, right? Uh, yep, uh, 5K. It's uh, it's quite hard to grasp. Well, I mean, it's 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 easy if you're a content creator, I think, exactly. because 4K is only 4K. But if you have to edit 4K imagery, you kind of need a bigger screen to fit all the rest of your toolbars and stuff on the screen, right? Exactly. So you need extra screen real estate, and you know. So and that's what this one is actually for. It actually does have it. This function just automatically built in there. Yeah. So that's why, you know, we said like, hey, this is like for the prosumer because this really has like a different kind of spec that you're used to from a gaming monitor. So yeah. for example, you know, hey, it's a 5K monitor <coughs> and uh, it's not 144 hertz, not 240 hertz, you know, it's not going to be possible. So this is like a model 60 hertz because for content creators, uh, for those kind of people, uh, it's really more important to have, you know, the right color reproduction, uh, having the right yeah. uh, real estate here on your screen to work with all your tools and programs at the same time. So you can have some uh, multitasking going on there, and this is really like what it's for, actually. So, like I already mentioned, uh, this is a 60 hertz screen. It has uh, it's a 30 no, it's a 34 inch screen. Yes, exactly. 
and 5k like peter already mentioned and so not for gaming guys so uh, if you're really interested uh, hey you can still play games on it yeah but, of course you can but, you know <laughs> this is more for the content creators indeed so exactly. alex uh, uh, let me review it <laughs> yeah let me as well no i mean uh, yeah it's, it's a really cool monitor exactly. and it's something completely different Yes, and so what's really different here is also that the screen is actually a nano IPS display. Nano IPS, what does that mean? So, you know, you probably very, uh, a lot of guys, you guys are used to, you know, TA screens, you know, VA screens, because, you know, that's what really uh, more common in the gaming industry. Yeah, especially higher refresh rates. That's exactly, always because that's very hard to of... achieve with IPS screens yeah. already. But it, I think it's actually slowly coming towards the gaming industry too, right? The yeah, 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 I'm seeing more and more of it. High uh, refresh rate. Yep. But here, uh, it's really more about you know the, the real life color reproduction of the screen and having the optical optimal viewing angle. So, so that's why what what's more important here is that having this kind of IPS display. Uh, display. So, like we already said, you know, it yeah. has a specific kind of purpose, and that's what it's all for. So, everything here, all the features, everything that's being packed in here is actually for that one purpose. So, yeah. you can have the optimum user experience when doing your work well, or your hobby. So and indeed, you can so still I, game on it. I already see Alex. You know your stuff uh, because indeed you say we don't need more than sixty hertz for content creating. <laughs> we need good sRGB and Adobe sRGB. Yes, oh, sorry, and, Adobe RGB. So and indeed, HDR color function. reproduction. Uh, it needs to be bang on, and you know that's that's the most important thing with those monitors. So that's what we're going for. Yeah. And, and indeed, it, 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 yeah, it, it's, it's a different color as well. So that's also where it differentiates. So indeed, it is white instead of, you know, the, the other, our gaming products usually are a darker color, uh, black or gum metal gray, you know, mix, a mix of darker colors. Um, this monitor completely different. That's also how you can recognize it, easy, easily recognize it as being a different uh, product line than yeah. gaming. <clears throat> so really, the, it also looks a bit prestige. Yeah, yes. prestigious indeed. Yes. <laughs> right, so and we have uh, different prestige products as well, right? Yeah, because it's not just about this one, and it's not just about monitors neither. So this one is completely new. So let's see, let's see if we have to start this one over as well. It's a movie, guys. <laughs> so I'm here on the uh, of course we yep. uh, Starter, starter. Here with us, guys. So I'm All here right. on here the prestige here side of the room, showing off our new laptop. This is the PS63 Modern. This one is crafted for content creators, you know, casual users, that kind of uh, audience. What we have here is thin bezel laptop. You have your webcam on top, thin bezel on each side. 16 is the magic number for this laptop because you get 16 hour battery life. It's 16 millimeters thin and 1.6 kilograms light. So it comes in this very unique blue trim and this very gray slate color and it's really unique looking laptop. We have an enlarged touchpad here and it's very silky smooth to the touch. Feels just as you were swiping on a phone. Yeah, I really wish I was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, like the end of the video, that guy, Again, it's a completely different laptop. Uh, this one is it, it's prestige, but it's more like uh, uh, portable and a little bit more light. So this one is more for uh, working circumstances. I believe this one is called uh, what was the what was this one called? What was the name of it? This one is the prestige, the PS sixty three. Yeah. But this one is actually different than what you had on the, in the movie. So the guy told you all about uh, the yeah. features about that. But it's just show you the context of the prestige line because we can actually have the same models here because well, it's very hard to actually do that. Actually, actually. <laughs> so I didn't even know we had this one here. I thought this was one of the silver ones, but we actually have this model right here. Wow. I actually yeah. also thought it was the silver one. I, I didn't <laughs> expect this. So here we go, guys. This is the exact same model. I'm yeah, you're seeing this, this, way, so you're the seeing this at the same time as we do. So we, uh, we just got this as well. And it is indeed, you know, it's yeah. very thin, as you can see. It is very light. It feels really solid because it's like solid aluminum as well. It, it's it's yeah. cold. It's nice and cold. And it has a very nice, subtle, like yeah, it's a shiny. Blue. Maybe you can do the close accent. up. Uh, the yeah, close -up so here, uh, let us show you what we mean. So you can see it's, it's yeah. a little bit of blue shine at the edge. So it's very uniform. And then you have this little accent color, which is very. Yeah. Actually, if you don't pay attention, you don't even notice it. But no. when you see it, it's really nice. Yeah, it's very subtle. And as you can see, connectability also really nice. Um, so plenty of uh, USB 
what else? It's a card reader there, um, machined actually into uh, into the side because this is not plastic. This is uh, aluminum right here. So it's this is machined into the side. And the front, really nice and clean, very thin, as you can see, very thin, but so friggin' sturdy, man. It's, it's, I'm really surprised by that. And plenty of connectivity on the, on the other side as well. Yeah. Of course, so the USB Type-C, normal USB, uh, audio jack, uh, power, of course, HDMI. So, yeah. And, um, I mean, on the back, you can see some of the, the exhausts right there. Yeah. So on both sides. And let's see the bottom. Well, the bottom is pretty standard, of course. Yeah, even the some, bottom is some uh, here. pretty uniform, except for yep. the stickers, because you won't have this kind of stickers when you actually buy it, because yep. this is still like a sample, so uh, yep. it's, it's not final. No. But there's there's actually like almost pretty much no plastic on here, so it's, it's, it's like all aluminum. I'm yep. really surprised about that. It feels really solid, really impressive. And when you open it up, I mean, that's just... Look at that. And again, this is um, this is aluminum, guys. Yeah, so All of this is aluminum. It's not quality, plastic. The build quality is just uh, <laughs> wow. I want this, dude. Mm. I just th this this has that quality of when you see it and you hold it in your hands, you just think, I I don't care what I'm gonna use it for. I want it. I just want it, just because. <laughs> uh, nice thin bezels, as you can see here yeah, uh, on definitely. the screen as well. Uh, I mean the keys. I really like this style as well. Yeah, um, the king wide trackpad, as the guy told you in the video. Um, so yeah, extra functionality there. Yes, and don't forget we have the fingerprint scanner yep. here. It's yep. uh, maybe that's gonna be like uh, <laughs> a must-have in the future because I think well, you know to just unlock a lot of a products laptop, already have it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you really gotta put in, put this in because I think this really makes it more convenient whenever you're using your laptop. So yeah. instead of just pa typing your password or something, you know, you can just unlock your laptop. Yeah. And uh, let's see, because here's of course the uh, the prestige, the name, machined into the the aluminum. Really, really impressed with this one, guys. Yeah, and, and even the, the keyboard the, like has the same yeah. finish as the rest of the laptop. So the see. uniformity is really. <laughs> And the power yeah. button at the top. So let's see what happens when I push it. I don't know if it's powered, guys. I have no idea. Oh, well, it's actually turning on. There we go. Look at that. So yeah, it's um, just out of the box. Man, I want this. Um, also, in, on the top of the screen, you probably... I don't know if you guys can see this very well. But there's a um, little camera at the top there as well machine into that really thin bezel yes. still you got a camera in there so that's right it's probably gonna run the windows setup now because it's probably i don't think this thing has been set up yet this is like the first the uh, first time it's it's being turned on but wow <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. i'm Do you probably really? gonna get in trouble for this yeah so i think cortana just wanted to say hi to us there um, but anyway, so yeah, this this thing just has that. Mm, oh, you didn't wow, hear anything. dude, I, I need to talk to my boss. I want this. <laughs> so as my work so laptop, you just turned it on. So did it also turn you on? I'm I'm, I'm not gonna Sounds go into like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, guys, don't leave. I mean, we have more stuff to blow you away than AMD yep. can. So stay. Just rewatch their uh, their stream. <laughs> I think I already got my answer. I'm not getting one. Oh, sad face. Um, okay, sad so anyway, so this is the, uh, what was it again? The Prestige, the, the, the PS63. PS63, wow. All right, thoroughly impressed with this one. So I'm gonna move this one over here. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of people wants to enjoy AMD, so let's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 so... Uh, behind it. Laptop is good, uh, all right. All right. What's so mind-blowing about this laptop? It appears normal. It does. But uh, to be honest, big kahuna man. Um, you know, most laptops, you know, they have a, like a, a f flimsy finish, a lot of flex, all of that. This thing is uh, quite small, very thin, uh, still got very powerful hardware in it. Yeah. Uh, it's, the cooling is really good. And it's uh, uh, like a unibody 
almost a unibody type of uh, aluminum feel. So it just feels so so very friggin' premium. And the bezels are, th are so thin. I mean, I know that a lot of laptops have that uh, these days, but it's just it, the whole thing just looks so premium and it feels yeah and especially if you go look at the screen the screen is just uh, I, I think even especially for prosumers let's yep. call them prosumers again it's really great to have the kind of uh i mean the contrast the color production on there is just amazing and the sharpness yeah all right so next up gaming notebooks guys so we're back into the gaming yeah <laughs> um the we, what we've got so next for you is, is right another now? movie. You might have to do your thing oh, okay, again where go. you make the movie go smooth. Close your eyes, guys. <laughs> but uh, it's the GE75. So you guys might have, maybe before we start, maybe we can get its predecessor. You guys might know, uh, no, actually, the G, yeah, the GE. There we go, yeah. So the GE is let's already go. a beast. Um, yeah, let's, uh, here we go. So this is the GE series. Um, Don't mind the fingerprints on there. Yeah, I have sticky we, hands. we already kind of touched all over it. You know, you know how it is. Um, but yeah, really good product as well. Um, it's uh, the the Raider. This one, um, the latest hardware in there, uh, twenty series, of course, up to twenty eighty. I think so. Yeah, yeah thin bezeled again, as you can see, perky RGB. You can already see it right here happening. Yeah, also the Game Sense from Steel series, uh, yeah. like I already uh, explained to you guys. Yeah, on the keyboard. And uh, yeah, I mean, just all around a really nice laptop. Also, uh, full aluminum right here. A bit bigger than the last one, obviously, because uh, also a bit more, uh, yeah, a bit, bit higher end hardware in there. Yeah. And a bit more aggressive looks as well. And you can especially see that. Well, you can see some of the edges or some of the shapes already on the, on the, yeah, yeah. The, the, the wrist rest basically here. So it's a little bit of a different shape, but also on the back. I mean, if you look at it from the back, you know, that just, it's, it's like looking at a Lamborghini or something, you know, so this one is really like screaming, you know, like I'm, I got power. Yeah. Yeah. Th this that's what it has. It actually does have a lot a bit, of power packed into a very thin design. Yeah. Yeah. This one just really says gaming and uh, yeah, it's really nice also, but let's, uh, let's let our colleague say something about it. <laughs> So I'm here with our GE75. All right, we're gonna have to restart uh, that one. So I'm here with our here. GE75 laptop. This is the latest laptop with RTX. It will go up to the RTX 2080. Yes, very sturdy build. Four i7 processor, so you're getting all the latest specs. You got thin bezels all around with the webcam right on top. So you got thin bezels here, 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 and there. The screen itself is 144 hertz, so you're getting that quick refresh rate on a 17-inch screen. It also comes with giant speakers. Yes, that is the name, and the sound really reflects that as well. So as you can see, you know, if you can't get enough of the RGB effects, there's plenty to go off to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the latest hardware, I mean, like the guy said, you know, all the 20 series, uh, I believe up to uh, 2080 um, yes. uh, Max-Q, uh, which means that, you know, it's really good for uh, temperatures and uh, battery life as well. So, you know, beastly performance in these laptops, dude. Um, and also RTX on. Yeah. <laughs> you can do RTX on on your laptop. I mean, I mean that's quite a good slogan, right? RTX on your laptop. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, ray tracing the, the crap out of games on on a thing like this is is. I mean, I'm still amazed, <coughs> to be honest. And it it really again, this, 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 our, our laptops and our a lot of our products have that I want it type of. I want it, but can't have it. Well, you can't have everything, I and mean, that's the thing. But you know. Hmm. I wish I could uh, just play around with this all friggin' day. I mean, you can now, before you have to return it. To yeah, but I'm, I'm on camera, so you know. <laughs> right? All right, let's see. Uh... Oh, we have uh, another one as well. So this is the uh, GE75, but you might also know the uh, GS. And we also, uh, I believe, somewhere last year after uh, Computex, the uh, GS65 was launched. Uh, the GS65 was, I think, the first one to introduce a, kind of a brand new look. No, no longer the, the black and red, but it was black and gold. Um, it was a bit more, I don't want to say I mean, mature, premium, but, you know, mature it's and premium. Yeah, a premium looking, you know. It kind of has this luxurious uh, look like and feel statement. about it. 
Yeah, yeah it, it is a statement indeed. And it was really thin as well. Uh, but the cooling was still pretty good. And, you know, it, it packs the newest hardware, 144 hertz screens. Uh, it, I think it was the first one that actually introduced a really thin bezel as well, which just makes it look so freaking good. Um, so, yeah, why don't you get it out? Well, how do you know I have it here? I don't know. Maybe I was looking at it already. I see. <laughs> so here we have it. Yeah. So here you go, guys. Yeah. So like Peter already said, you know, we have still have this gold uh, accent on here, this yeah. premium With statement. The the gold logo again don't mind the fingerprints because yep. <laughs> we've been touching this all day oh yeah hmm and you can see you know the connectability also the the hinges on these things are quite good uh very sturdy really uh feels just feels really good <laughs> yeah so a lot of connect connectability usb uh micro what is this micro or yeah uh, sorry mini display port sorry Mini display port, uh, Type C USB, you know, all the connectors you need, all, everything, all the new stuff. And on this side, of course, audio and uh, connectors and more USB, Ethernet. Uh, we are uh, at our uh, office. We're not at CES, unfortunately. No, no, no. I mean, Viva Las Vegas, but we're yeah. not there. Uh, we were not one of the lucky ones. No, but uh, I mean, yeah, this is the GS65. Uh, so as you can see, uh, also really, really nice. I really can't make up my mind like which design I like better. All of them are, are gorgeous in their own way, you know? And the fact that it, you know, all the, the, the little uh, hints of gold, you know, is very subtle, yeah. but it does continue all the way inside the design as well here uh, on the trackpad on the edges. So it's, you know, it just, it's a very good uh, design that, that is being executed all the way through. Exactly. And uh, the game sense is also going on right now, but maybe you can't really see it because of all on the, the lighting. Keyboard. Yeah. But uh, it just really mixes really well. Yeah. So as you can see already on the screen, this is GS65. 65. Um, and this year at CES, we introduced a uh, new product in this line. So maybe we can let our colleague show you guys <laughs> what that's all about. Close your eyes, guys. Close your eyes. You know the thrill. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Michael. So I'm here with our GE. How's here it going, everyone? Michael here from MSI, and I'm here to talk to you about our new flagship laptop, the GS75. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with the GS65. This is the 17-inch, 17.3-inch uh, 17 laptop variant. Um, but don't think of it as just a bigger size. This one has its own uh, unique features as well. So you got. Starting from the top, you have the webcam on top, thin bezels all around, 144 hertz panel on this thing. Uh, you get your per key, per key RGB uh, keyboard, and the touchpad is now 35% bigger than most of the other ones we've had previously. So we lowered the exposure a little bit so you can really see what's going on behind me. So we have Josh playing on a GS75 with Ambient Link. So Ambient Link folds under Mystic Light and it's really total immersion for your game color control. So right now we have Nano Leaves posted on the wall and we have Philips Hue on the bottom. So what Ambient Link does is it matches the color tones of your screen. So right now Josh is playing Assassin's Creed and it just it'll copy what's going on in this game right here. So he's kind of walking through the forest. You kind of see the panels shifting colors, matching what's on the screen. Uh, All right. So this is the, the uh, ocean. It'll, turn, it'll start turning blue. Uh, if you're playing this games, is the synchronized hit, effect again with the, the colors and the lights. So uh, the red. focus, the focus is of course <laughs> on the GS uh, 75 laptops. Uh, biggest difference with the GS 65 is of course that uh, the 7 series have the 20 series RTX 20 series uh, GPU in them. So big upgrade there. And of course RTX on. <clears throat> yeah, so definitely gaming because someone is asking if it's gaming. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean it, it it you know honestly if you would bring this to a board meeting or something you could do that. It's it looks. It has that look, yeah. Yeah, it, it looks uh, um, not uh, like a, a traditional gaming product. It looks so very uh, premium and classy that you know it, it. Yeah, you can use it pretty much anywhere, and it, it wouldn't look out of place. People would just probably think, "Holy crap, that thing looks impressive! Where can I get it?" But it's a gaming laptop. <laughs> There's no mistake about it. 
No, this is uh, maybe on my list for uh, the current really? year for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, it's quite funny. Somebody is asking, like, uh, is this a, a Logitech uh, 4K Brio <laughs> cam? <laughs> That we have, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, well, it's in, mean, it's in the, it's in the screen, right? Maybe you can go back to the main view, then we yeah, can. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, well, somebody does really uh, know their shit. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So this little puppy right here, that's what we yep. use for the close-up. Indeed, uh, it's a really good cam as well. Uh, yeah, for the for the close-up, it's uh, 1080p full HD. Actually, you can do 4K, but then the the FPS, of course, will be a bit. So it's like more like a slideshow. So <laughs> a slideshow, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I think, uh, that's pretty much it for CES. Well, I mean, I, I didn't even keep count, like how many products we talked about and we didn't even show everything because we no. couldn't show you everything yet. Yeah. I mean, there's a ton more products coming up and of course in the coming weeks, uh, we'll be getting samples of those products, uh, like the 2060 and the lightning. Um, and for you, I mean, yeah, the new versions mm -hmm. of uh, I Trident. Can wait, yeah, and and especially the monitors. Inf infinite and the monitors, indeed. Whew. Yeah, I want to try that that uh, AI yeah. monitor. So really, gotta remember the MPG three four one ZQR because that one, like I said, there was a, a special feature that I can't even talk about right now. But that's really gonna be like. I think that's uh, it, it, it's that's it's, really gonna blow you away. Nobody's seen that before, I mm. don't think. No. Mm. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stay tuned in. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, next week, coming up next week, uh, we'll have a detailed look at uh, the best RTX twenty sixty for gaming. Uh, unsurprisingly, that's gonna be one of our cards, uh, and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you some benchmarks, of course. Probably you'll be able to find benchmarks of the 2060 uh, online already because the reviews are online. But uh, there's a difference because the, the clock speeds are higher and uh, cooling is better. Anyway, we're going to go into all kinds of details. I might show you how to overclock it. I might show you some details about uh, MSI uh, Afterburner and OC Scanner. So if you want to know more about that, uh, it's also going to be in the next stream. And I'm excited to do that, man. I'm, uh, let's let's get started on really it right away. Really forward to the performance. Yeah, yeah. And maybe uh, after that, the lightning. Uh, I mean, if we're gonna get overclocking anyway, can't do that without the lightning, dude. <clears throat> just can't. Yeah, just make sure you don't run away with it. Well, I'm gonna have to run pretty fast. <laughs> All right. Lightning fast. Lightning. Fa oh, yeah, that's oh. a nice one. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Anyways, All right, guys. hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. See you next time. Bye-bye.